Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I see Donald has arrived. Good morning. It's Weller does Delmar of it. We're live right here in Milton. You are welcome to sit right here, Donald, if you want. Okay. So anyway, we're here. We're sitting inside Beaches Restaurant in Milton, Delaware, and we're going to be with you till nine o'clock till nine o'clock this morning. It's a live show called Weller does Del Marva. Weller does Del Marva. And this is show number, I don't know what, 466. So if we're ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and do a segment for uh, TV Del Marva, if I could. And that monitor um, has looked better at some point. But anyway, I just want to say that we're here. So if you are watching on TV, we love to hear from you. Uh, we are um, available to take phone calls in a little while, not right this minute. But TV Del Marva's got a big thing coming up on October 29th. October 29th. That's good. I love to see myself. It's like looking in a mirror. Anyway, um, October 29th, there is a big event called the Sea Witch Parade. The Sea Witch Parade. And uh, that is in downtown Rehoboth. And uh, everybody's invited. But here's what's really cool. TV Del Marva is going to broadcast that this year. In other words, they're going to broadcast it live right there on TV Del Marva. So you're going to be able to watch it on Channel 14. You're going to be able to watch it on a Roku device. You're going to be able to watch it on TVDelMarva.com. It's going to be pretty cool. So uh, it's October 29th. I want you to mark your calendar. And the hosts are going to be Michael Sprouse and Nancy Alexander are going to be hosting the event. So it's going to be pretty good, pretty big deal. TV Delmarva is going to be broadcasting the Sea Witch Parade live, live for everybody to see. People that are in the parade love that because at some point they can go back and watch the parade. So anyway, uh, if you happen to own a business or want to possibly advertise or help underwrite the cost of this, Colin Walls would love to talk to you about that. So I'm sure there's sponsorship opportunities available, okay? So anyway, I just want to also tell you TV Del Marva is everywhere. So it's Channel 14 over the air. What do you do? You point your antenna towards Seaford and rescan your TV, and Channel 14 should pop up. It's a good programming. Uh, they also have the Retro TV channel. So they got a lot going on at TV Del Marva. So if you have any interest in being involved, or if you want to uh, advertise on there or get the word out about anything, get up with Colin. I'm going to give you his cell phone number. Are you ready for it? It's 302-242-8015. 302 302- 242-8015. That's Colin's cell phone number. To up till 9 o'clock this morning, you can text him and uh, talk to him about any advertising opportunities or how you can get your business involved with TV Del Marva. So, again, we're sitting here at Beach's Restaurant. Let's test the telephone. Is that all right? We're going to take a phone call. This phone call is going to be for a hat and a T-shirt. So I better write that down. You're going to get a free hat. One hat and one T-shirt, and you say, are these new or are they used? That is a good question. So here is the hat. They're very nice. It's one size fits all. So you're going to get a hat and a T-shirt if you're the first caller to get through. There's your hat. Okay. If it's extra large. And then T-shirts. I've got some. Yeah, I'm going to put this T-shirt on. Um, anyway, it's Wilson's Auction. 50th anniversary celebration. So if you are watching and you would like to be the first caller of the day, the first caller at 302-422-7336, 302-422-7336, you will win the t-shirt and the hat and you got to pick it up at Weller's in Bridgeville next week, Tuesday through Saturday. All right. 302-422-7336. 7336. If you would like to win that, I've got one hat and one t shirt to give away, and you pick it up at Weller's in Bridgeville next week. So, did we test the phone lines earlier? I think we did. So, uh, they're ready for you, folks. Just pick up the phone and dial it right now 302 422 7336. So, lots of things going on today. Um, we're going to try to break the 60 mark. In other words, we've had 59 people two weeks in a row, and we are going to try to break 60 today. 
So I just want to let you know that we're here. Everybody is welcome to come and have breakfast. They have a wonderful classic breakfast menu. I see Snooky and Pat have arrived. They have a classic breakfast menu. I've already had French toast. I had some bacon. It's a really good place to eat on Saturdays and Sundays. They open early so you can have breakfast. If you can't make it today, check it out tomorrow. So we are prepping for the radio. We're prepping for the radio. And um, I want to say thank you to everybody for tuning in. So now we're uh, taking a break to switch over to the radio. Now we're on the radio. We're on the radio. So to my Delaware 105.9 audience, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are so thankful that you have joined us. If you are watching on TV, that's great. We're on TV, YouTube, Facebook. But also, if you're listening on the radio, I need you to do me a favor. When I reference things that you should be able to see, don't take your eyes off the road. Keep your hands at 10 and 2 and uh, pay attention and listen to the radio, okay? So I got a couple guests here today. My first guest is Bradley Layfield, and uh, Denise is going to get him lined up. We're going to go ahead and do a collage. We're going to do a collage. So anyway, um, what was I getting ready to say? Are you guys ready to roll the collage? This is a little bit of what's going to happen today. Um, ready, set, go. This week on Weller Does Del Marva, candidate Bradley Layfield for the 4th District Representative seat talks with us. Sean Reinhold drops by to talk Kentucky donations. 16th District Senate candidate Eric Buxton joins the show. Sussex County Councilman John Riley stops in. Senator Dave Wilson gives us an update. Ellen McGee of the Register of Wills Chats. TV Marva's Colin Walls of Walls Service Center checks in. We are live from the Beaches Seafood Restaurant in Milton, Delaware. And now, here's your host, Jim Weller. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And I want to say thank you to Don Allen and Beaches Restaurant for hosting the show. We've been doing it here for, I think, two or three months now. In other words, we're moving right along. And uh, we pretty much have a, a long-term agreement. I think we're going to be here for quite a while, indefinitely, maybe. But anyway, um, I just want to say... Every week we have some Wawa gift cards we give away. We'll do that throughout the show. And uh, Don and uh, team here at Beach's Restaurant are ready to wait on you. So there are a few tables left. It will fill up. Again, our goal is to break 60 today. We'd like to have 70 people if it's at all possible. So anyway, uh, parking is free. There's free sunshine outside today. Free napkins uh, with all purchases. And uh, they got really good breakfast. You can get a cup of coffee or have something to eat or just sit here and watch the show unravel by the minute all right so anyway my first guest my first guest is Bradley Layfield and he is a candidate to be the uh it's the fourth district is that brand new yep brand new district down brand here in new. Sussex County anyway uh, wow. it has existed before in Wilmington but um obviously due to population shifts after the census every 10 years uh as you can tell from the traffic we're growing down here no doubt no doubt no doubt so how are you doing I'm doing well. Good. I'm doing well. Had a little Good. bout with uh, with COVID this past oh, week, but okay. um, getting a bounce back pretty quick. All right. Well, good. Yep. And uh, so you're out there, you're campaigning, you're running, you're knocking on doors. Do people know you when you come to the door? Like, I've heard of that guy. A lot of folks do. But uh, oh. obviously, you know, as a local, uh, there's a lot of folks that uh, may know my dad, may have known one of my oh, uncles, my yep. grandfather. But there's an awful lot of folks who've chosen to make Sussex County their home. And I'm really mm -hmm. enjoying meeting them who, who may not know uh, the Layfield legacy, so to the speak. The Layfield legacy. So what do you do for a living right now? I'm the proud principal of Sussex Central High School. A couple uh, thousand kids. Over 2,000 kids. I'm a graduate of Sussex Central oh, High School okay, as well, okay. which is pretty neat. Uh, when I first started teaching, uh, you know, I was going down the halls, and many of the teachers that I was teaching in the classroom beside were my teachers. So, uh, uh, okay. And uh, been, been there. This is my 23rd year, and I'm wow. proud to say that um, about 80% of the staff I've had, a, I've had a hand in hiring. So. I think that says an awful lot about bigging, building a legacy, building a system that's in the best right. interest of and, our and kids. And great relationships. Oh, that, that's in number words, one. You know, it, it looks like you know how to work with a team of people and lead the team and um, make a difference. Our superintendent, uh, Jay Owens, he was the principal when I was an assistant principal. And one of the things that he has always said is that 
education, the foundation of any good education is about rigor, relevance, and most important, relationships. Right. And, and that, that's what it's all about. When, when you've got a parent that's maybe not um, all that happy when they call mm -hmm. in, being able to solve their problems right. and uh, put their kid in a, a great position to uh, succeed in the future. Wow. Well, so now you want to take that experience and that energy and that, um, you know, uh, networking to the to a, a, another level. You want to make more of a difference in the state and your community. You're 100 percent correct. Um, being a being a public school uh, educator, it's all about public service. So mm -hmm. I do not see this as serving two masters. It's just an opportunity to uh, to help my community at an even greater level rather than just focusing on the youth and their families. Like an extension. Yeah, there's an awful right. lot of retirees. Um, right. my, my parents happen to be uh, a couple retirees. of those retirees. Right. So we've got, we've got to take care of all the people, and that's what I'm all about. Right. Because at, at this point, you know, is there kids that you've taught that are now old enough to vote? Uh, many of them. I actually just oh. got a text message from a student who graduated two years ago and said, hey, going off to college and uh, I've got the next two weeks if you need any help putting up signs, knocking on doors, those sort of things. So that uh, that warms my heart. Right. And this is a, I don't know if I would call it a milestone. This is a big deal. In other words, this district is brand new. Here you are, a gentleman from the community. In other words, you know, uh, been involved in the education system. You actually are going to have an, a, an opportunity to, to go to the next level. You're not just replacing somebody that was doing it. You're right. going to be you're going to be forging a brand new. Weren't you part of the new school too when it was built? Yep, uh, I was an athletic director when the current Sussex Central High School was uh, was constructed and built. Uh, we opened there in the fall of '04, and now um, uh, taking a leadership role with a 148 million dollar project to build a a brand new Sussex Central. Our, our our building is in great shape. Our custodial crew and everyone's taking great care of it. But it's going to transition into a middle school, so we have room for that growth, and we've got this. Uh, this new new school that's going to be built, uh, hopefully with the class of 2025, or wow. excuse me, class of 2026. They'll open uh, if things go on pace. In and you've been 25. part of a referendum and everything. And in other words, just when you think back, you know, you went to school there, you know, then you graduated. Where'd you go to college? Went to the University of Delaware, graduated okay. in 2001. Kept it right into 302. Absolutely. Wow. Well, good. So homegrown ready to go, wanting to make a difference. Um, what else do we need to know about you? How do people even learn about you or get a hold of you? Well, you can find me on Facebook, Layfield, the number four Delaware, Layfield for Delaware. You can uh, shoot me an email anytime, simple enough, bradleylayfield at gmail.com. Do you uh, personally respond? Or yes, do you have I personally else respond. Okay. So I've got, somebody, I do have a team of social media folks, but 99% of the time, it'll be me responding hands to Hands on. You. Yep. All right. Is this social media new to you? Uh, somewhat. I was okay. on Facebook up until about 2011, then got away from it. But uh, I would, I don't want to say it's a necessary evil, but it is absolutely necessary. And I'm getting such a great response. Uh, I think I'm, I'm approaching 500 followers wow, and it's, it's been good. just a little over a month. So uh, there's a lot of folks out there that are looking to help and support. And I, I sincerely appreciate it. That gives me the energy, the passion and the drive to do everything that I do. Well, and, and when you're elected, you intend to also continue being involved with the school and the school's good with that. In other words, um, I, I guess instead of um, splitting your time, you're going to actually just be adding to everything's going to overlap. Yes, it's, it's not going to be splitting. Uh, you're hundred percent right. It's adding to, I, right. I served 10 years on the Delaware Interscholastic Athletic Association, uh, five years as the chair through the pandemic. Uh, so I'm fully aware of what it takes to have two very, very important jobs right. and successfully uh, accomplish those tasks. Right. This is not new to you. Nope. nope Hammer down. Hammer down and get it done. 100%. That's what I'm all about. All right. Anything else I need to know? Well, uh, I've heard from you that you like free stuff. Everyone oh, likes okay. free stuff. So I've got a, oh, a can, wow. can cooler cool. there for you. Thank and you I, very I much. I have a few more for some of your des uh, guests. Okay. I did not bring 60. but um, oh, okay. you know, Did I you bring 59? Well, <laughs> uh, you know, that, that, would, that would be one more than the 58. So. Wow. Well, very good. Uh, there's a spelling error on here. There is? No, I'm kidding with you. <laughs> You got me because <laughs> no, I'm, I'm probably up. turning red yeah. on the camera. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. I'm trying to give you a hard time. All right. Well, Bradley, I'm going to say thank you for this, and I'm going to let you go if that's okay. Perfectly okay. Thank Have you. I, do you need any keychains? I, I got a keychain last okay. time I was on with you, and I've, right. I've, uh, I appreciate all the free stuff, but I know there are some other people that probably uh, may have not uh, uh, acquired any of that over, we, uh, over the past months. This is the give out place so anyway all right well i'm gonna let you go okay if i don't right. shake hands you won't be offended will you nope you're good okay thank you thank very you. much all right see ya
All right, here we go, everybody. So that's Bradley Layfield. I've known him for a long time. I've known his uh, family. So get to know him. If you don't know him, get to know him, okay? All right, what else are we going to talk about? Let's brag on Chick-fil-A for just a minute. Chick-fil-A is a good sponsor of the show, supporter of the show, and we love them. I love them. I know you will love them if you just go to Chick-fil-A. So they are open six days a week, Monday through Saturday, and I love their food. So they've got great salads. They've got milkshakes. They've got the nuggets, okay? They have got the sandwich. The number one sandwich is number one in my book. So anyway, Chick-fil-A, what a good company. They're always supporting things and doing things. So anyway, uh, sometime during the show, we'll give away some Chick-fil-A gift cards. Don't know exactly when, but um, I just want to let you know that we say thank you to Chick-fil-A for their support, sponsorship of the show, and we want to encourage you to use them. Even if you get takeout or have them cater something or have it delivered, Chick-fil-A is the place. All right. Sean is here, and we're going to talk about something as soon as Denise is ready. I'm ready. Uh, Linda, oh, Sean, we got to get a picture. I'm sorry, right here. Are you ready? Smile pretty. All right. So, what's going on? We good to start? Yeah. All right, good enough. All right, so anyway, oh, I'm in the way. All right, so anyway, Sean, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having good. me today. Well, thanks for being here. Now, you are a um, pastor, worship leader? Worship, what? Leader, yes. worship mm -hmm. leader, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you um, have got a heart for people, I'm going to sense. Yes, uh, I've been involved in, in missions for quite some time, and uh, foreign missions, local missions. And, missions. Yes. Mm -hmm. People. 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 Yep. Have a heart for people. Yes, sir. All right, and you are getting ready to load up and go to Kentucky. That's right. You, you may have heard about the recent flooding in eastern Kentucky where they received about 10 inches of rain in less than an eight-hour period, uh, where this creek that would normally have two feet of water has risen to over 20 feet, and it's just caused devastation there. It's just wiped houses out. It has. It's awful. Yes, it's a lot awful. of displaced people and a, a lot of hardship happening right now. And it's been uh, over a week. It's been almost two weeks. And They've had flooding as recently as three days ago. Really? Yes. Wow. So you are loading up a van yes, full uh, of merchandise. We, uh, a little shout out to Penske and Milford. Oh, they, okay. they were That's able to miraculously hook us up with a 26-foot Penske truck. And it's our goal to pack that thing. I'm thinking you're taking a 15-passenger van. And when you said two pallets of water, I thought, does he know how heavy they are? <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> a 26-foot Yes, uh, not passenger. Yeah. It's not a twenty-six. No, we man, are taking a this passenger. This is a big van. box truck. Yes, yeah, so we're taking and we're taking a passenger van. Oh, with a bunch of people. 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 Okay, yeah. okay. Here I'm thinking you're hauling everything yeah. in this van. No, that's why I told you to check the air and yeah. the spare. <laughs> exactly. I'll still do All that. Right. <laughs> but anyway, so you are taking a van full of people. Yes. And you, what kind of stuff have you gathered up? Well, we've we've been gathering cleaning supplies. Um, you know. Uh, can openers and pocket knives, things like that, yeah. because people are given cans of food, they have no way to open them. That's a uh, good point. Think of think of like camping the after after the storm. That's how they're living right now. Right, silverware so, utensils. Yes, so we've been ga gathering those things. Um, uh, we've we've already gathered bedding and. Uh, um, you know, socks and underwear, some shovels, uh, brooms, things like that. <clears throat> some of the things that we're still kind of trying to to gather. If if anyone in the listening audience were, would have, we're we're still kind of looking for um, garden hoses, uh, dehumidifiers. Yeah. As we clean Extension up. Extension cords, probably. Yes. As we clean up, we're going to need these things to, to help get them back on their feet. Wow. So how, when are you leaving? Uh, we're going to leave tomorrow, right after church. Um, so we, you need donations like now. Today into tomorrow, yes. Okay. And and if, if someone's interested in, in helping with the ongoing needs, um, they could visit um, our webpage. It's ajesusmission.org. What? The letter A? A, jesusmission.org. Okay. Forward slash Kentucky. Okay. And so this is an ongoing effort. In other you, words, this is your first trip? Correct. We're, okay. We're, we're going to build relationship, and we really plan to help maybe four or five families completely and thoroughly. Oh, and, and regroup so, and rebuild. Yes. And, and, That's a good and stay idea. connected right. and connect them with because once you meet there. them, then you'll figure out more of what they may need and Correct. things like that. Yep. So I would think they would need, if they had wore glasses and went to sleep that night, they need their glasses. I People mean, have just lost everything. everything. Right. They, I they mean, have lost everything. when you think about the word everything, it is everything. Correct. Yes. Wow. Right down yep. to your dentures, if you had dentures laying yeah. on it. 
So anyway, um, so how do people get a hold of you today, 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 today? Um, you know, if someone would want us to pick something up today, we are running around Sussex County doing okay. uh, final, final collections. I, they can text or call me at 302-470-0321. Let me write that one down. 302-470-0321. Oh, three, two, one. Okay. And, um, or they could bring it to your church and drop right. it off? We're or? still collecting uh, right up until we leave tomorrow at the church, which is New Covenant Church, over there on Savannah Road, just across from the Crooked Hammock. And so they could bring it and come to church with you tomorrow? It, they could come to church and they could pray for us as we get yes. ready to leave. Launch. We're going to launch us. A launch prayer. Kentucky. Correct. Well, mm -hmm. I admire you doing this. Uh, could people make just a monetary donation? Is there a way to do that? Yes, at that ajesusmission.org forward slash Kentucky. There's a link that... that they can put uh, they, something on their credit card or something like yeah, that. Okay. Yeah. Wow, so this is really good. And what's the name of the church? New Covenant Church. Okay, and they're on board with all this? Yes, yes. And did you say it's it's Pastor Decker? Pastor Robert Decker. Yeah, Robert Decker. I know that name. He's been around for a while. Yes. So anyway. All right, anything else we need to know? No, thank you for having us. Uh, okay. You know, I just pray that the weather's good while we're there. Yeah. We're hoping it's not going to be 100 degrees shoveling mud and cleaning out debris, but... Uh, Wow. You know, we're, we're in for a week of hard work. <laughs> well, good so, job. Yeah. And God bless you. I'll be praying for you. But um, I think it's wonderful that you're doing it. So, again, it was ajesusmission.org. Mission.org. Forward Very slash good. Kentucky. Forward slash Kentucky. Okay. Mm -hmm. And give Sean a call or somebody at 302-470-0321. Correct. That's okay. my number. Yep. Good job. We'll get you on again some other time. I sure. squeezed you in today, so yeah, that's why it's so... That. So tight. Thank All right, so I'm going to let you go. Yes. Be safe, my friends. Yes, okay, take care. There he goes. Get behind that, everybody. Man, a flood. Can you imagine losing everything to floodwaters? It's unbelievable. Hey, Peninsula Chiropractic, you know, they've been a good sponsor of the show, supporter of the show. It's Dr. T and Dr. Bud down there in Seaford. And I just want to let you know, if you need chiropractic care, I love and highly recommend Peninsula Chiropractic Center. In other words, uh, they'll get the kinks out. So when you go, you might not be feeling so good, but you're going to feel good quickly soon thereafter. And some people say, you know what? I immediately started feeling better. So they accept most insurances, whether you got hurt in a car accident or on the job or something like that, or you want to just pay cash, whatever, they'll work with you any way they can. Uh, they're very conveniently located right on Route 13 outside of Seaford. It is Peninsula Chiropractic Center, okay? So give them a call, 302-629-4344, 629-4344, PeninsulaChiroCenter.com on the web and like their Facebook page. They're very active there. Dr. T, Dr. Bud, thanks for your friendship and your support. And if anybody out there needs chiropractic care, you won't be disappointed. They're good people. All right, what's going on? We're sitting inside of Beach's Restaurant in Milton, Delaware. We've got lots of guests. You can hear people in the background. I see uh, many people have arrived, and uh, it's a good morning. So you can order yourself some breakfast. Denny, how you doing today? So I see a lot of people. Brad and Guada are over there, and uh, it's just a good morning. So you're welcome to come. There are plenty of seats, plenty of tables. You can order breakfast, or you can get yourself just a cup of coffee or whatever you want to do. Or if you don't want to spend any money, you can just go ahead and sit here and watch the show. Now, sometime this morning, we're going to give out a $25 Wawa gift card. Wawa gift card, okay? Hey, Sean, are you going to be here for a while, or are you getting ready to leave? Well, I was just going to throw it out there. If somebody is near here and wants to come drop off something to Sean, uh, he'll be here for, I guess, for half an hour, maybe an hour, you know. So he's right here, too. If you did uh, want to uh, come meet him and, uh, you know, just um, help him in any way, he can accept donations right here uh, for the next half hour to an hour. So uh, one more sponsor segment I'd like to do. This is my accountant. So many people... Um, need accountants. Some people used to do their own taxes and they said life is getting just a little too complicated and I want to be sure I do it right. I just talked to somebody the other day that sold a house in the past year and got Luffs to do their accounting work. They normally do it their self, QuickBooks or whatever they used to use. Anyway, um, they used to do their own accounting and they used to do their own tax return and they got a hold of Luffs and they found out that they um, were not depreciating this rental property that they had properly. 
So um, they realized that maybe doing their own taxes uh, wasn't the right thing to do. And so uh, they got that all worked out, and they had to do it all at one time. And um, so anyway, I just want to let you know, if you need an accountant, whether it's for a business or whether you're just an individual that happens to own one rental property or no rental properties, you know, and you just want somebody that knows the ins and outs. They are CPAs, so in the event of an audit, they can represent you. So keep that in mind too. I, I got audited one time for eight days and they represented us well. We didn't know a penny when we were done. We were happy. So anyway, I just wanna let you know, it's Luff and Associates. They also do payroll for businesses. So, you know, they can help you with it. It's a system called Easy Payroll. We've used them at Wellers for years now and uh, they will help you as little or as much as you want with your business payroll. Whether you got a couple employees or whether you got a hundred employees, Luff and Associates will help you out any way they can. Local company, they have an office in Rehoboth. They have one in Milford and they have one in Dover, okay? I'm gonna give you one phone number that will get you anywhere you need to go, so get ready to write it down. It's 302-422-9699, 9699 LuffCPAs.com on the web. Good people, I've dealt with them for 25, maybe 30 years. Long time, maybe even more than 30 years. I've been in business 48. So I've definitely dealt with them for more than 30 years. So anyway, check them out. Give them a call. Tell them I sent you. George Luff, his son Tyler, and Team Luff will do a good job for you. So where are we? We're right here inside uh, Beaches Restaurant in Milton, Delaware. And people say, well, that's a seafood restaurant. It sure is. I mean, if you want to come here later on in the day and get some crab cakes or um, whatever uh, else they have, they've got a full menu of all kinds of things. And everything here is made to order you know it's made to order it's not all sitting back there and just stick it in the microwave jonathan is in the back he's the chef and everything is made to order and they do a fantastic job their food is always good i've been very happy so um just keep that in mind when you order they're back there making it just for you all right beaches restaurant right here on beach highway in milton delaware then they have another one in lewis also okay so with that said the show is live we do it every saturday morning right here inside the restaurant and uh, uh people keep coming and the crowd keeps building and so on there's going to be different guests going to be on and if you ever want to be on this show we're booking into november and december right now so uh everything we do is scheduled if you've never seen my schedule that's what it looks like jackie breaks it down by the minute Denise is here setting the timer. Every time I talk, she's timing me. So it's kind of an amazing, organized, little chaotic thing going on here. So if you own a business, you ever want to advertise on my show, I'd love to talk to you if that's possible. Um, we'll try to work you in and help promote your business. Now, speaking of business, Wellers is my business. We're open today at 8 o'clock. We've been short-staffed this week. Uh, got a couple people out. And uh, so Chuck and Jimmy have been manning the whole show, and uh, we appreciate Jimmy and Chuck, but they have been working hard, to be quite honest with you. They've been working real hard. So anyway, I'm just letting you know that um, they're there. We're going to be open from 8 to 2 today, but if you go, they're going to be busy, and we just need you to be a little patient with them. And they'll get to you, and they'll do a good job, but they wait on every customer one by one, and uh, that's kind of how it rolls, all right? We're going to have some giveaways. Let's do one quick giveaway right now. I've got a Wilson's Auction embroidered hat, their 50th anniversary hat. I'm gonna give one away. I'm wearing it right now. You can see it's one size fits all. And one of their 50th anniversary t-shirts, if somebody wants to call in, you would pick this up at Wellers in Bridgeville. People say, why don't you give them out there? It's because I'm trying to draw you into my store, okay? So you get a t-shirt and a hat if you're the first person to get through on the telephone at 302 422 7336 and Dave Wilson is going to be joining me later on this morning to talk about Wilson's auction. I hear the music. We're taking a break from the radio. Switch over to TV Delmarva and um, I'm going to chat with Colin Walls or somebody about different things. So switch over to TV Delmarva just as soon as you can, okay? All right. I hear the telephone ringing. Caller, are you there? Howdy, howdy. Yes, I am. What is your name? Bill Howard. Could you say it one more time? Sure, Bill Howard. Is that Bill like B-I-L-L? -L? Bill. Yes, sir, that is correct, Mr. Uh, Weller. Bill Howard, correct? Yes, sir, Bill Howard. Are you related to Howard Johnson? Uh, I wish I was, but I'm, uh, not, I'm not. I used to work <laughs> just, for him. <laughs> just checking. <laughs> hey, what do you call... 
What are you calling about, Bill? Uh, you were you were giving away uh, one of Mr. Wilson's hats, and I oh. well, I'd love to have that. I've met Mr. Wilson a couple times. Mr. Wilson, he's a great guy. Would you say I didn't hear you? Uh, I, I I called about the hat of, oh. of the uh, Wilson's auctions, and I've met I've met Senator Wilson a couple of times, two or three occasions, and I, he's a good fellow. Good. Good guy. I heard you the first time. I just wanted you to say the part about he's a good fella. Oh, and, Twice. And from what I understand, you are you are too. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> if I could be half the man Dave is, I'd have more hair than I have now. So, anyway. Well, I'm going to come meet you one day because I live right in Milton. I've been to beaches. I just oh. uh, haven't been able to get in there on a Saturday morning. All right. Well, we're going to be here every Saturday morning. So I'm going to put you down for a hat and a T-shirt. What size T-shirt does Bill wear? I would say a large. A large. Okay. And um, you know where Wellers is in Bridgeville? Yes, sir. Been by there a couple times. Okay. It won't be there till Tuesday of next week. So Tuesday through Saturday, stop in. And Bill Howard, we will have a T-shirt and a hat ready for you. Wonderful. That's awesome. I appreciate that. Thank you. Are you watching on TV, radio, Facebook, or where? Uh, on the radio. I haven't, right. haven't seen anything on TV or Facebook. Just radio. Okay. Well, thank My you. Favorite station. All right. 105.9? 1059, favorite station, yeah. Glad to find it when I moved out here. Great, great station. Well, good. How'd you find the station? Uh, I think I was just searching and, uh, yeah, just searching and came up with it. And I liked a lot of the shows that were on there. This is uh, Dan Daphne. and was enjoying hearing some local news and some, I would say, conservative news. All right. Some good conservative shows, so I appreciate that. All right. Well, thank you, Bill. And, uh, Come see us some Saturday morning. I will do, absolutely. I look forward to meeting you. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. We're taking a picture real quick, and then we're going to get on with Colin's thing. All right, here he is, everybody. Colin Walls Good waiting, morning. waiting patiently. You said we're going to talk to Colin Walls or somebody about something. Right. Wow. I, I hope thought, I can live I thought, up to that. Right. I didn't know who I was getting and what it was about. So, <laughs> right. So now you've got a wide open platform. All right. What, what would you like to talk about? Well, I've got Myra here with me. So All right. Maria is doing? working this morning. So, okay. Yes, well, good. Run and get her. Yeah, All she's right. doing good sitting over here. So she likes watching the show. Okay. Well, yeah, good. She enjoys it. I can see she's sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> likes her so to much. sleep. At least Lawed she's not screaming sleep. crying. That's true. That could be painful. That's true. Right. <laughs> So All right. anyway, uh, Wall Service Center. So Wall Service Center, downtown Milford. We've been there for uh, 64 years. Yeah, man. 64 years, Jim. Isn't Imagine that amazing? That. It is. Yeah. That's longer than you've been in business. Mm -hmm. Surprise. That for sure. That's how long I've been alive. 64 years. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's well, how I can always remember how long you've been in business. So you were born in 1958. Yep. All right. Yep. So, uh, anyway, uh, Wall Service Center, we do all kinds of repairs on cars. Mm -hmm. We do, you know, everything from simple oil changes. We call them simple oil changes, right. but actually they're a little more than that. You know, they're a little more detailed and in-depth than just a simple oil change. We uh, check lots of things out on your car. Uh, we actually had a, we've got the state contract, so we do uh, oh, okay. uh, fleet vehicles. services for the right. state vehicles. Uh, so we do those, and um, we had one come in yesterday, and it was apparent to us that it hadn't been checked over in a while. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, that, and, and that's they not typical. Do it or they went somewhere else? Well, maybe both. Okay. okay. I might not want to say. Okay, okay. Because uh, <laughs> what you do, you do, you do, and you are more thorough than most. Yes, yes, yes. And that's so just a personal thing for, with you. Yeah, for example, we noticed uh, a tire. We don't do tires, but we did okay. notice that a tire was put on backwards. It was a directional tire. You're familiar with directional yes, tires. and they had mounted it backwards. It was, a, it, well, either mounted backwards or on the wrong side of the car. Then rotated. Yeah. Yeah, turned around. So uh, so we noticed that. It was a brand new tire, so it was obvious wow. it was just put on. Yeah. Um, and, but we, you know, while we were there, we looked at the other tires, and we noticed that it probably should have had four tires put on Not instead one. of just one. So, we, you know, we let them know that it needed tires. Um, and we found a couple other things. The battery, we tested the battery. The battery was at 36% state of health. Really? So, yeah, it was in, it was in bad shape. Front brakes were down to two millimeters. Okay. It needed front brakes. So those are an example of things that we check. Just for an oil change. Just for an oil change, yeah. Right. And, yep. and I think your point that you really don't want to say is, that wherever they got their last oil change missed a whole lot of stuff. Uh, possibly, you know, possibly. or it could have been a long time before. Okay. You know, or a long time since. Now, uh, 
these vehicles generally are very well maintained. Right. Um, so this is an oddity. This is an oddity to have yeah. this much. But yeah. the la- but maybe over the last month or two, this this car got used a whole lot too. Uh, that's what I'm thinking that it got a little used busier than and, normal. And you know whoever was driving it did not get it in for the right. service that it was supposed to be in for. Possible. Uh, but that's that's not typical of the state vehicles. I can tell you that. So right. They are that is very true. well right. maintained. Um, but anyway, th- that's just a good example of a of a vehicle you know that we checked over and uh things that we found on it now uh and you don't find it and fix it you find it to educate the customer you don't even sell tires you know so right exactly you're doing it strictly as an educational thing i mean if they want things fixed you would love to provide oh we would love to be the one to do it yeah and and we're going to give you great service and great value with that we just you just don't want somebody to get an oil change and not know your car needs other things. Exactly. It would so, be unfair. Wall Service Center, four two two eight one one zero, downtown Milford, Monday through Friday, seven thirty to five. Give us a call. Okay. Thanks, Jim. There we go. We're back on the radio. Wall Service Center is the official repair facility for Jim Weller and Dan Gaffney. Okay? So both of the people doing live shows. I think Dan's working back at the studio today. So Dan, if you're there. Good morning. Turn the volume up and down so I know that you heard me. Oh, he heard me. No, I'm just kidding. So anyway, hey, we're right here. We're sitting inside Beach's Restaurant in Milton, Delaware, okay? And we have a lot of different guests. People are coming and going and just a lot of different things going on. So I want to say this is a sponsor segment. It's Integrity Pest Solutions. This is my... uh, pest control guy i spent last evening with him uh him and his wife jackie uh, joined us at uh, dave wilson's uh, all you can eat crab feast it was a good time but integrity pest solutions is who does my pest control and you know you can get anybody you can get them big companies where you have no idea you know who's coming or what they know or don't know well the good thing about um you know uh jackie and keith um Keith is the main one that does it. The good thing about Keith is he knows what he's doing. He's an owner-operator. So when you call on the telephone, you will get Keith Ruark. When he comes out to take a look at your project, you're going to get Keith Ruark. When he does the work, you're going to get Keith. And in this day and time where every every company is just turning help, you know, all the time, can't keep help, nobody really cares. The nice thing about Keith is he does care. He's the owner. He's the operator. You're going to get him every time. So anyway, if you have any questions, any pest control issues, if you've got any hornets or, you know, things like that, or if you've seen some ants where you didn't used to have ants, we've got stink bugs at one of our buildings and he took care of that. So whatever you need, you give him a call and he'll talk to you and he'll tell you what you got and he'll tell you how he can help you and what it's going to cost. Very fair, very honest. He's been doing this now over 17 years. His name is Keith. His number, ready for his number? Everybody got a pen and a paper ready? It's 302-858- 8629 858-8629. If you say, I'm going to call him sometime, call him right now. Leave a message and he'll get back to you. 858-8629 on the web. It's integritypestsolutions.com. And like him on Facebook too, if you would. They're always putting interesting tips and tidbits on the Facebook. All right. Um, it is picture time. Is that right, Linda? All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. John Riley, our Sussex County Councilman, um, up for re-election. Is that correct? That's correct. And uh, you're working it hard, I hear. We are. We're out and about. We're uh, doing the door-to-door and, you know, full campaign mode. Well, good. Did your district change some? Oh, wow. Yes. It's almost a brand new district, honestly. Like starting over. Almost. Um, I used to, we always had Millsboro. I still have Millsboro. But I went to South Bethany, Fenwick Island, across to Del Mar, and then back up to Millsboro. Okay. And now it's Millsboro, Georgetown, and then out to uh, Hopkins Dairy Farm. Okay. Out out Sweetbriar Road and and Dairy Farm Road. So it's... uh, substantially different well so yeah. you're out and about you're trying to meet people now you've been on the council now is this four years this is four years four so, years yeah well, very go good. by as quick yep yeah. and you're a local you know family man um how many kids you guys got so we have 11 uh mm-hmm. one of my son-in-laws is here uh okay. he lives here in milton he stopped by to support me but uh we have 11 even more we have 24 grandchildren do you really? My, my goodness. Wow. And we have a couple of kids that aren't even married yet, so uh, Lord knows how many, how many we'll, more we'll be blessed with. So, so yeah. you're, a, you're a real solid part of the community. Well, you know, and that's really my motive. People ask me, why do you want to run? Why do you want to do that? Right. It's not a big paying job or anything no, like that. No, and I'm retired. We also, you know, own and operate a farm, and, and they're like, why do you? And that's why, because 
you know, our kids and grandkids, I'm hoping, have the same Sussex County that, that we've grown up with and enjoyed. And, you know, I hope it stays that way in the future. So that's that's a big part of my motivation. So, you know, here you are, your family man. How long have you been married? 42. I mean, get this right. 42 Ooh, years. Right. Yeah, 42 years. All Coming right. up on 43 at the end of September. And your wife is very involved in things, been instrumental in the Sussex Pregnancy Care we, Center. We were founding members of the Sussex Pregnancy Care Center. We, uh, she homeschooled all of our children. Wow. Um, but she's still homeschooling grandchildren. She's still homeschooling grandchildren. She's a former um, runner-up Mrs. Delaware. She That's right. She's also the Delaware Mother of the Year one year. That, and, uh, I remember that. Which is well-deserved. <laughs> right. Well so the, the accomplishments are not so much accomplishments. You've lived a good life. You've lived life oh here. Oh, my goodness, yes. You've yeah. got kids. You've got grandkids. You've got a huge investment in our community. We absolutely do. It's a multi-generational investment, and um, we want to work to preserve it. Right. And that's what you're doing. Yeah. In other words, you know, you're doing it yeah. every day. Now, yeah. um, you have uh, made yourself very accessible. In other words, people I've talked to said, when I need to get a hold of John, I can get a hold of John. So 302-858-8649, which is only so, 20 digits different from your, your past I just guy. realized so, that. He's, he's 29 and I'm 49. What was that? 858-8649. And people can text you? You can. Oh, I'd love text because okay. uh, if I can't pick up right away, I can see what uh, what What's it what? is and uh, get back. But, and so, uh, if somebody... sometimes my mailbox fills up, and I try to. Oh, I bet keep so. Clear, yeah, but um, that you know, we are, we're on Facebook, um, Riley for Council um, on Facebook, uh, Gmail. Uh, we have johnriley.com website. So oh. we're working the social media. We we want to be accessible. Plus, there's my county, and that that's a very good place to reach me. Is uh, J. Oh, yeah. O'Reilly at SussexCountyDE.com okay. is, uh, is a very good place to reach me. And a lot of people reach out there. Is it dot .com or dot .gov? Dot .gov. Okay, uh, just my check goodness, it. Dot .gov, no. thank you. And uh, that's available on the website, the county website, if you can't remember that. But okay. it, or don't have a They'll way find to, you. Yeah. All right, so what do some of your kids do? Like, like what... What's John Riley's like? So what I'm hearing well, there's is... there's 11, so it could take a while. <laughs> okay, well, but what I am hearing is you don't want to just be a councilman. You want to make a difference. But you're, you, you've got an investment here. You've got these kids and these grandkids. That's your drive. It is. Um, I mean, because people, people say, why does somebody want to run for council? What's the drive? What's behind the man? In other words, it, what's behind you is your family. It is. Um, you know, there's my... There's a big difference between myself and my opponent and our vision for the county. Um, I want to maintain the rural character as much as we can. I, I don't favor high density development down, you know, all over the beach area, all the way up to Milford. I, I um, have a, you know, I really want to see the farms in the county preserved. And we are working to solve some of the issues that we have with traffic and affordable housing along those lines. The county is very aware of it. We've introduced some programs to address those issues. We've secured an additional $1.2 billion, with a B, dollars from DelDOT to improve area roads because we are behind. We have okay. some issues. Millsboro is a bottleneck. There's other problems throughout the county. And, uh, we started the FAST program, which we could get into the weeds and talk about, but it's a way that we can accelerate the uh, uh, improvement of certain areas. Um, so we, we have programs that we are addressing these issues and will continue. And to, have been. And have been. Right. In other have, words, everything's a process. And we haven't raised your taxes. So we haven't. We haven't. Pro I, property taxes have not well, gone up. And I'm glad. I haven't seen any property tax increases, well, they so haven't, I'm happy. Taxes haven't gone up in Sussex County in over 40 years, and there, there's wow. no need to. Our financial condition is, is excellent, and uh, there's no need to raise taxes. We don't plan to raise taxes. Now, so. as a county councilman, can you lower the price of gasoline? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, you get questions like that. They want you to fix roads, but that's Dell Dot. In other words, I, I mean, we could do a whole segment on what the county council actually can play a role in. Well, that's a good and, point. People coming from other states, in other states, the counties do roads, they do police, right. they do, uh, sometimes they do hospitals and nursing homes even. Uh, social services. There's a whole host of things counties do. They have paid fire departments. They all of that. And right. in Sussex County, we are very limited um, government, and that's one reason our taxes are low. And but it's won't. it's a learning curve for people that moved right. here. And is it fair to say that half the people that live here moved here? 
pretty close. It's a big number. This, in this area, especially. Yeah. yeah, it's a big number. It's a growing number, obviously. But Well, I'm going to wrap you up. So yeah. what do you want to say in closing? Well, you know, I appreciate being here this morning. Thank you. And, um, you know, I just want to reach out to people and ask for uh, your support and your vote on September 13th in the primary. And um, I... Uh, you feel very good about the election. You know, we're working hard every day. Are, are you allowed to ask for financial support to buy advertising and things? We like that? are. We are. I, you I, seem I, I tend not hesitant, to. Hesitant. I, I forget to do that. Uh, but yes, I mean, I mean it we, does take money. We to are accepting campaign. Com contributions. For, okay. uh, yes, we All are. Right. We are. So um, we will have some mailers and we'll have some other things coming out. You need helpers to go knock on doors. We need helpers to knock on doors and work the polls. Yeah. All right. Volunteers are always welcome. Volunteers okay. are probably more welcome than uh, contributions, if that's possible. Okay. So. Sure. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you, John. Is that okay? That is okay. I, it's been great being here. And, uh, well, thank you. Again, I really appreciate the, uh, the opportunity. All right. See you. Take care. Be safe. See you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. There he goes, John Riley, everybody. Next guest up is going to be Eric Buxton. So we're going to chat with him. But in the meantime, I'm going to brag on my friends, Bill and Heather Anderson. And you say, who are they? They're the owner operators of Dry Zone. I've known them for years. I have dealt with them for years. I have many properties that they have done work at, and I'm a happy customer, okay? So, and if uh, you have a uh, leaky basement and you want them to help you deal with that, if you've got a damp, humid, uh, like crawl space, in other words, dampness helps breed termites and rot and everything else so wood rot that is not termites rotting but anyway they do all kinds of stuff they also have a division called hello garage where they can help remodel your garage coat the floor put some cabinets and shelving up and uh, make it look like new they've got all kinds of things they can remodel your garage they can remodel your basement there's a lot of services that dry zone offers so it's not just crawl space encapsulation but i can personally tell you that i know of nobody that does it like dry zone when they come when you call they set you an appointment they do come that day they do come on time okay they um also will send you a packet in the mail to tell you a little bit about dry zone or you can go online at dryzone.com and learn all about them there then when they come they're going to have a solution they're not going to say Hmm, I've never seen that before. Even structural type things. I have told you about my grand, my, not my granddaughter, my daughter, where her floors were sagging. She has like an 86 year old home. And they come in and they leveled the floors up. They put these beams underneath it and these smart jacks. And now all the doors shut and latch just right. It's nice. So they do all kinds of things. So go to dryzone.com. If you're looking for a new job, they're always adding people to Team Dry Zone. What a great team of people. So uh, they're growing, growing, growing. And it's Dry Zone and Hello Garage. So check them out online or give them a call on the telly. On the telly, it's 302-684-5034. It's best if you dial it in that order. 684-5034, dryzone.com or hellogarage.com. Tell them Jim Weller sent you. All right, here he is, hot off the campaign trail, Eric Buxton. Eric Buxton, anyway, candidate for uh, Senator 16th District. Is that right? That's correct. How you doing, young man? I'm doing fine. We're 29 Good. days out, and I'm grinding every day. I, I believe you are. I, I believe really you are. am. <laughs> oh, we were supposed to take a picture. I forgot about this. I'm going to get in trouble at the post office. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So, Eric, tell us who you are and what's your history and what's the deal? Sure, I'll keep it short and simple. A lot of folks may know that um, I'm a local. As far as my district, born and raised, 30-year um, educator at Polytech, retired a year ago in June. Okay. 15 years on Levy Court, which is your county council. Right. Um, you know, just somebody who's... Uh, a mover and a shaker. Born and raised in public 30 service. 30 years of teaching. 30 years. You've seen a lot happen, haven't you? Well, the thing I tell folks is uh, I got old and the kids stayed young. <laughs> <laughs> but I enjoyed it. Uh, I got to coach a lot, and it was a countywide school. So, it, you know, just today I pull up at a gas station and see another another live, uh, life that I touched. And it came really? over and wanted to share stories. And I'm telling them, listen, I'm a little late, but appreciate wow. you. Yeah. Wow. Well, good. Where'd you come? You come from Dover? I come from the Magnolia area, Magnolia. about 25, 30, 30 minutes, minutes away. But I enjoy the uh, ride and well, certainly good. the folks that are here. Wow. So you're out campaigning. You're going to be uh, our next 16th Senate Senator. Is that right? That's my plan. State Senator. State Senator, 16th right. District. Your current Senator right now for the state of Delaware is uh, Colin Benini. That's right. I describe right. and tell folks is uh, a good friend. Uh, yeah. 
He's a, a good man. Yeah. Um, but the reality is, I think term limits matter. And yeah. I think uh, after nearly 30 years, it's time that we change out. I think that democracy was never designed for career politicians. And uh, so it starts one at a time. That's right. not a disrespectful statement. It's just right. a, a belief. And I don't think that the folks in my district who know me are going to have to take a chance on me. They already know me. They knew who right. I am. Right. Pretty stable, well-established. Absolutely. You know, I am, I am what I say Already part of the community. I, I mean, how long on Levy Court? So this, I'm ending my fourth term. I will not run again. I didn't play it safe. I didn't run in an oh, off-year election. So win, lose, or draw, you're no, off the Levy Court. If you court. believe okay. in that term limit policy, and listen, the reality is I, I was running basically unopposed just about every term, every time okay. out, and that's because I believe the effort. I call folks back. I, I give them an honest answer. I do the work. I'm a conservative guy. I was looking at term after, you know, terms after terms, and then right. what was it going to be? When was it going to end? So right. I think it's time for somebody else to fill my seat, and I believe it's time for somebody else to fill the 16th seat, and well, that's me. And so, you know, you're not here bashing your opponent. You're Absolutely just saying not. here, I'm... This is who I am. You know, if you want me, I like me. Yeah, there, there's there's three in the race right now, and they're all three good people. You know, for example, the other day in the mail, um, an endorsement came out uh, from my opponent uh, basically stating uh, that he's a strong NRA guy, and he is. And I would never right. walk around saying that he is, and he isn't. Right. I can tell you that I am also. Right. I can tell right. you that, you know, my three opponents are. But I'm not going to tell you something that these folks are not. I just mm -hmm. believe in my ability to communicate and to get in there. We're losing fights in the General Assembly. Right. And at some point in time, you need to get in there and articulate better, differently, from a different perspective. I didn't say right. back up, I didn't say retreat. Just right. a different messenger to get the job done, and that's what I believe I am. Wow. How would people either meet you or talk to you or get to know a little more about you? So, votebuxton.com. Votebuxton.com. Votebuxton.com, definitely. Um, you've got uh, my Facebook. I'm open. It's public. So you just go to Facebook and look up Eric okay, Buxton. So you don't even have to be it. friends. And you can read everything. And you can find it. I am not shy about some of the things that I post okay. <laughs> at all. I'm, you do a lot of Facebook Lives. A lot of Facebook Live. I think it's important. You know, anybody can write something. And I, I say that meaning with help. Other people can coach on with the right. Rest. But right. when you click play like I am today right it's game on <laughs> well you get to see their expressions you get to sure. see how well they can speak when it's not there's no do-overs in a Facebook live you're not you're just calculated talking. right you're, you're speaking from the heart on the right. things that you believe in when you're writing you're rewriting writing rewriting right. to make sure that it gets that effect I believe in writing but when you're on tape when you're on video it's, it's real. real all right well so um, other than that uh, married Married, four kids. Four kids, any grandkids? Uh, yeah. No grandkids yet. Okay. I got a teacher that's, uh, she's a first year teacher up in Milford. It'll be her second year. Oh, you good. know, when you talk to some of these candidates like myself, education is everything. It is. Now, I'm telling you that from a perspective of crime, from a perspective of anxiety, mental health, our workforce, all of those things. And it doesn't start in high school where I taught for 30 years. We're losing the fight in the elementary schools where you begin the calluses of life, and we're taking those away. Mm -hmm. And I, I cannot stress upon you the importance of what we're doing in first, second, third grade, where we're eliminating discipline, where we're eliminating... There's no winners uh, and losers. They don't even keep score at a ball you, game. You, you want to know why a 15-year-old has anxiety? It's because when they were eight in school, they weren't taught that they had to finish, right. that they had to stay seated, that they weren't going to be disruptive. And I'm telling you right now, it has taken 10, 15 years to get there, but we're here now. Right. And I cannot impress upon the audience that's the fight that we have to have. And it doesn't require a complete rewrite. Our seven-year-olds of today are no different than the seven-year-olds 30 years ago. The problem is our 15-year-olds are vastly different. Right. That's right. the problem. So, and or isn't it like when kids are younger, they're just like a fish in a fishbowl. You can just feed them. Feed them, feed them. As they get a little older, they start questioning everything. They are craving structure. Right. It, you, parents can understand. They've never been in a classroom, but look at it this way. When you go through a grocery line, they put the candy at the bottom, eye level for the kids. A parent is required at that moment to deal with a tantrum and say no. Right. And we do it. We're taking that away from our teachers. Right. They're, they're throwing tantrums and we're being asked everything. to say, oh, just deal with their feelings. Or we send them to the principal and the principal says... Hey, I know that they threw a tantrum during crafts. Can you send crafts down to the office and I'll have them do them here? <laughs> no, but that's no, what we're right. doing. I it agree. sounds silly, but it's vitally important. It is. <laughs> so, four kids. What's your other kids do? 
So I got one that's a jack of all trades. Okay. Uh, he is also a day trader at heart. He is studying okay. and doing his thing. And I tell him, look, there's a lot of folks that were laughed at early on that now can buy and sell me. So don't right. give up on your dream. And then I've got two in school. One's a, a high school junior. Okay. Varsity baseball player and another one's the light of my life. She's a little girl named Leah Bucks and she's 15. Wow. She'll be a sophomore this year. So I got two beautiful daughters, two boys in the middle. Um, you job. know, blessed like a son of a gun. Well, you know, enjoying life. Good. Well, again, what was the Facebook page? Just look up Eric Facebook, Buxton. Facebook Eric Buxton. You can do a search okay. and find it. VoteBuxton.com. That's my website. It says a lot about my platform. Right there. Everything from Second Amendment rights to education to ag land preservation and conservative ideas okay. you know, that's definite those 13 stars those 13 stars that folks on the radio right now are listening to have to appreciate what they went through to, to get, form this great experiment right. to complete the deal they didn't agree on everything right yes they fought it out but at the and end of the day through it they worked through it right because if we all we, agree we're just going to go in a circle if you're in the room where everybody words, agrees, you're in the wrong room. Yeah, you're in the wrong room. You're yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, you're hanging out with the wrong people. You're you're in a bubble, and that's what they do. That's what my friend from uh, from uh, you know Greenville is doing right now, right? Right. Yeah. He's in a little bubble, and he a has no bubble. idea what's going on, Clueless. and that shouldn't be disrespectful. Yeah, I that's agree. true. Jim, All right, thank you. I'm going to leave you. Appreciate you, thank brother. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks. All right, Eric Buxton, look him up, check him out. Real good guy. All right, guys, my monitor. Same old thing, just a different time. All right, what else is going on? Hey, let's talk about L W Insurance Agency real quick. This is my insurance agent, L W. I deal with them all the time. Um, this is a sponsor segment. You got it. Thank you very much, Colin. Um, so anyway, I just want to let you know if you need insurance, if you uh, want a new insurance agency to deal with, I highly recommend L N W. It's the letter L and the letter W. L N W, not Ellen. It's not Ellen. It's L N W. Okay. So anyway, I just want to say if you need car insurance, jet ski insurance, renter's insurance, motorhome insurance, um, liability insurance, um, whatever you need insurance, health, auto, um, they can help you out. They're like insurance experts okay and uh, they will talk to you they will meet with you if you want to meet they're not just some 1-800 number they live in your community they support things in your community they're part of your community okay so it's lnw insurance agency been around how long now let's think about this 90 years they've been in business 90 years now when you see bill strickland the owner he's not he's not been the owner for 90 years but I'm just letting you know it's a good team of people. It's a great place to buy insurance. I love dealing with them. I just had a trailer stolen. They took care of the claim. I didn't have to lift a finger. So anyway, it's l and Insurance Agency, 302-856-7828-856-7828, lwinsurance.com on the web. And like them, like them, like them on Facebook. I like them. I could just tell you story after story about things where I've been very happy with the service they've given me. Hey, this is a today only offer. Today only in the town of Greenwood. They're having their farmer's market today. It's at the town hall parking lot from 9 to 2. The town of Greenwood today. Fresh local produce, flowers, local honey, locally grown fresh meats, baked goods. And this market will feature a small petting zoo. A small petting zoo, okay? And uh, it's kind of cool. So anyway, also a local food truck will be joining us. So mark some time out today. Anytime between 9 and 2, go to the Greenwood Town Hall in their parking lot for the farmer's market. And when you get there, if you see the town manager, her name is Janice. Uh, no, it's Janet. Janet, 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 Janet. Man, I messed up on that already. Janet is the town manager of Greenwood. Tell Janet I said hi, and Donnie, Dovin, Donnie Donovan is the mayor. Tell him I said hi, too, okay? So what else is going on? What else is going on? Hey, Dave Wilson has arrived. We're going to talk to him in a little bit. We got lots of different things. You getting ready to leave? Or Okay, Sean, thank you very much. Sean, Sean is going to be leaving the building, everybody. So um, thank you very much for all that he does and so on and so forth. We're here. Lots of things going on in the room, and uh, you are allowed to stop by. Also, 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 if you are here, you can enter to win a $25 Wawa gift card. We're going to be doing a drawing. 
where we just randomly draw your name um, out of a out of a basket, you know, for that. So we're here at Beaches. We'd love for you to come see us, hang out with us. If you can't do anything else, pull up beside the building and uh, toot your horn. Toot your horn. Toot your horn. Okay, I want to see you wave to me here out the window. All right, so I hear the music. Colin Walls is going to join me. I need you to please switch over to TV Delmarva right now. We'll be back on the radio in just a couple minutes. Okay, I took a break. I paused. I wasn't. All right, take a breath, talk. Jim. Take breathe. a breath. Um, in through your nose and out through your mouth, or is it the other way around? I'm not sure, don't but know. don't do them both at the same time. All right, or try to use up. your ears or eyes. Right. <laughs> okay. All right, so what's going on, Colin? Well, TV Delmarva. I, I thought you were on. leaving. Did you leave I and did. come back? I went and got this pretty girl. Okay, I thought you were going for the whole morning. Yeah. No, okay. no, no, no. I can't miss this show, Jim. Okay, I wasn't sure. I got nervous. <laughs> hey there. Say hi. Hi. So this is Myra, uh, and Myra. she's uh, helping us out today. She's uh, customer relations. Customer relations. Yes. Uh, Hello. So anyway, uh, TV Delmarva, Jim. TV Delmarva. No, I didn't hear you. Uh, you talked about TV Delmarva first thing. I was on the road. I don't even know what I that. said. I talked about okay. the Sea Witch. Did you talk parade. about Sea Witch? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Sea Witch is on. Yep. They're having it. They've uh, asked When's us the to date? Do you remember? broadcast this. I believe it's the 29th. It's the last Saturday of, of October. You're right. I was just checking. Yeah. Okay. All right. And so uh, the, the parade will be broadcast. I, you know, it'll be kind of right after this show. Not long after it will this be. show. Anyway, yeah. Like... We're going to get the broadcast scheduled together. Somewhere yes. in there. Okay. Exactly. Um, I did mention, and I know that you hate when I talk about business. I'm always talking about business. But is there sponsorship opportunities? Or yes. You rather we're not we're talk still about working that? on the packages, uh, okay. so I don't have anything to, to tell them. Okay. But we're putting the packages together. for. We'll have those together uh, probably this week coming up or the following week. We'll have those ready to go. So anybody that's interested in uh in but I mean, they could stop by right here, right now, and just drop off a blank sign check and say, "I want in." I want Don't in. Don't forget me when you do. Yes. 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 And exactly. Colin is very, very trustworthy with a blank check, and um, he'll fill it out correctly. Right. As long as it's signed, I'm very. As long as it's signed, that's the most important part. <laughs> uh, but uh, but anyway, yeah. That, so we're we're doing it. So uh, Michael Sprouse, uh, a lot of people know him from Coast Away and E. Uh, here on TV Delmarva. It comes on right. at 11 on Saturdays. And then uh, Nancy Alexander. She is, yep. the, I believe she's the director of the Rehoboth Museum. So okay. there on the left where the dolly sign is. Right. I thought she was the, the guard of the dolly sign. Yes, so. she might be. It's got so, a new permanent and location. She's very knowledgeable of Rehoboth, Rehoboth history, Sea Witch history, and, and those things. So this is going to be really good. And they, those two have hosted it uh, oh, yeah. all but one year that it's been broadcast. Really? So, yeah. Yeah, that's yep. a good team. This is that is be a good, good team. parade yep. and a good production. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So TV Delmarva will be there. You'll be able to view it over the air, Channel 14. Yeah. Okay. Point your antenna towards Seaford. Rescan, look for Channel 14. Uh, but you'll also be able to watch it on Roku. Roku. If you have a Roku device, go ahead Roku. and download the TV Delmarva Roku. app right now uh, if you have that. So search for it uh, just like you would any other channel, you know, like Disney Plus or... Uh, Netflix or any of those channels that you want to add to your Roku, search for it the same way. Look for TV Delmarva. TV Delmarva. Is Linda here? Linda? She is here. I uh, don't know if she took a picture or not. And then, well, she took a picture the first time for sure, but not right. this time. Right, so I don't want to Anyway, uh, so uh, you can also watch it, tvdelmarva.com. We will also be streaming it live on Facebook. Live uh, so, on Facebook. Yes, so we have uh, okay. you know, our Facebook page. TV Delmarva Facebook page. We have two Facebook pages. One we call the TV Delmarva North, TV Delmarva South we also have. Um, okay. TV Delmarva North is about uh, 46,000 views. Followers. Followers, followers Jim. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Taking Are we ready? Picture. No, yeah. this is in front of her. No, it wasn't. Was it? Okay. So uh, yeah, so the the oh, okay. TV Nail Marvin North page is about forty six thousand followers on that really? page. Really? Yeah, that's a lot. That's more people than live on one side of the railroad tracks in Lincoln. <laughs> it is. Yes, it, it might be more than both sides of the both tracks. Both sides. Wow, forty six thousand yep. likes. Is yep. that what it's called? Likes? Uh, followers. followers. Yeah, whatever they call okay. it. Yeah. So they had they break it out in different ways, but okay. Um, <clears throat> and then we've got the TV Del Marva South page. Which is uh, coming up on ten thousand followers. So, okay. you know that's that sounds about like fifty six thousand to me. It does. Yeah. yeah. 
That's a uh, big number. It is. And then we're going to have our oh. over-the-air audience. Okay. We're going to have our Roku audience. And your .com. And we're going to have our TVDelmarva.com audience. So wow. this is going to reach a lot of people. Yeah. So if you're looking to advertise in a way to reach people and just let them know, hey, oh. we support community events. This is a great way to do it. What do you do with it after? It's stored on Facebook, right? It is, yes, yes. So here's what a lot of people don't realize about these parades is, you know, you have the parade and you're going to have a few thousand views when it's over. Yes. Then that number is going to be more than a few growing. thousand, but that's right. Fine. But I'm just saying, so when yes. you buy an ad, that's what I try to tell people about my show. When you buy an ad and it's stored somewhere, yes. you get more than one ad for your money. That's called bang for your buck, Bang Jim. for Value. your buck. Value, yes. Value. Yes. All yeah, right. so uh, that's what you're going to get. You know, if you want to, if you want to be a part of this, we will have packages together next week or the following week, ready to go for you. And uh, we will be looking for a main sponsor, which is going to be, you know, they're going to get a lot. You're doing with something that. in Maine. Yes, yeah. Uh, oh, we're also you mean gonna, the main sponsor? Yes, we're going to rebroadcast this too, so it'll it'll run Sunday as well. Okay. So it'll and run. People in the parade. This is their chance to get to see the parade. Exactly. Right. That, remember with the Milford parade? That's what we found. A lot yes. of people would go back and and watch yep. it. So, Jim, we're on the radio. I'll talk Hold to you later. Hold the radio up. We're not ready for the radio <laughs> yet. TV Delmarva, TV Delmarva .com, channel fourteen. Okay. Thank you, Jim. See ya. Bye. There she goes. There she goes, everybody. Hey there, folks. Let's talk about, you know what? I'm going to do Fitzgerald's real quick because Dave Wilson is going to be coming on, Senator Dave Wilson, and his business is right down the road from Fitzgerald. So this is a sponsor segment, and the Fitzgerald family has been supporting my show, and I want to say thank you to Scott and Karen and um, Kim and Johnny. So thank you all for us uh, supporting and sponsoring Weller Does Del Marva. So if you got something you want to sell that's metal, some junk metal, whether it's a um, appliance, whether it's an old gas grill, whether it's a car, a junk car, whatever, anything metal, they will buy anything metal from you, okay? So they pay cash right on the spot. I think they're open there Monday through Friday, uh, Saturdays also. So if you got some junk metal and you want to get rid of it, uh, you just go to Fitzgerald's. Now, where's Fitzgerald's? It's right up the road from Wilson's Auction. Where's Wilson's Auction? Just down the road from Fitzgerald's. So uh, both are destinations in Sussex County. So anyway, I just want to let you know the Fitzgerald family is a good group. If you need parts like a fender or a door, or, or you need a windshield, or you need some kind of a part for your car. They sell tires, they sell batteries, all kinds of things. They also have that. Celebrating 87 years, 87 years of being in business, okay? So the Fitzgerald family, fourth generation, on the scene, good people, honest, fair, good to deal with. I like them. You'll like them. Give them a call. 302-422-7584. 422-7584. Fitzgerald's dot us on the web and like their facebook page now we're going to take a picture real quick with dave wilson and we got lots to talk about with him i got lots of questions you ready linda okay oh wait a minute i was supposed to be wearing my hat <laughs> oh my gosh let me take my glasses off here we go everybody okay now dave wilson is my state senator He's a pretty good guy most days, and um, I am honored that you're here. Thank you, Jim. Thanks, Thanks for, for inviting coming. me. Absolutely. Now, last night you had a fundraiser crab feast. That's correct. What'd you have? Two, three, hundred people? Uh, 415. 415. Yeah, that's, uh, that was in the final number. I think there might have been a couple more walk-ins, and there were two or three that wow. couldn't make it. So. so they either loved Dave Wilson or crabs. One or the other. I would say other. it must have been crabs. <laughs> Now, ever since last night, my phone has been ringing off the hook, people wanting me to pick numbers for the lottery. Okay? So, last night, you were giving away some items. Is that right? That's correct. And you were giving away tubs of Fisher's Caramel Corn, I think it yeah. was. So, Fisher Dave, Dave um, had the lady come over and had me draw a number. And it was unbelievable what happened next. I drew the number. Next number uh, that you called, it was your number. I got it right here with me just to prove it, 030. And I was like, this is unbelievable. I picked the number, and I picked my own number. So I thought that was pretty cool. Have you took any heat it, over that yet? No, it definitely wasn't rigged. I can say that. <laughs> Jim and Dave Jim, Jim and Dave rigging something. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that so, one. He might have had one, but it wasn't that wasn't one. It wasn't that one. So, but it was a great time. And you know what I really like? People really like you. I mean, in other words, you know, there's some politicians people don't like. Well, I don't know. Okay. I don't know so, that I'm liked by some people. Well, I'd say overall your approval rating's pretty good. So I want to say thank you. I watched you, your wife. You know, your wife is right by your side. You know, what a, what a commitment there. How long have you been married? Uh, 52 years. 52 years. Where did yeah. you get married at? Uh, Dover. She Dover. Was, she was a Dover gal and really? she uh, wanted to get married in Dover. And of course, I was so eager to get married, I had to go to Dover. <laughs> Now, um, and you're going to Dover to serve the public. That's correct. Wow. How'd you meet her? Uh, through my sister and her husband. They were uh, went to the same church. And really? she uh, introduced me. And uh, there was four or five young ladies there. And uh, she was going to pick up the litter. No kidding. Wow. <laughs> Well, you picked good. Did you pick her or she pick you? I'm not sure. Okay. I guess I did. I picked her because I did ask her. <laughs> okay. Well, good. Well, so you have the auction. We're going to talk about a couple auctions in a minute, but let's just talk politics for just a minute. So you're a state senator. You were a state rep before that. That's correct. And before that, register of wills? Register of wills and register of chancery. Oh, I, wow. I was in register of chancery uh, back in 1992. Okay. And then register uh, uh, wills. Uh, I was later. I ran for county council in 2002, I guess it was, and was unsuccessful. Okay. And then I kind of got out of politics, just put it on the back burner. And then uh, in 2006, I ran for Rester Wills okay. and was successful. And then uh, 2008, Mr. Ben, Representative Ben Ewing asked me to uh, consider running for the House. And I ran for that in 2008. Well, you was, ran for his seat. That, his seat. Right. 35th District uh, over in the Greenwood Bridgeville area. I ran for his seat and was successful. And then uh, 2008, uh, I was asked to run for his seat. And then I uh, uh, was in the rest of uh, Wills, and I had two, two years left. And Governor Ruth Ann Minner appointed uh, Mr. Greg Fuller to succeed me. Okay. And then I was in the House for 10 years till 2018. And Senator Simpson decided to uh, move to Middletown and uh, be closer to the family, him and his wife. And I ran for the Senate, was successful in 2018. And I've been in the Senate uh, one term, four years. Well, and now it's time. To vote again, is that to right? To vote again for a two-year seat, so this okay. is a, only two years. Really? Wow. Well, and uh, what's it like being a senator? I mean... Well, uh, it, would be a lot, it would be a lot better if we were in the majority, I'll put okay. it that way. Okay. We serve in the minority. Uh, we try to pick our, our, uh, our issues and work on the ones that we think we can make a difference. The ones that you're going to be uh, strong-armed with, there's no need to even waste your time with them because they've got the votes. You right. know, uh, it doesn't really make a difference whether you're uh, you're on board or not. You know, it's it's kind of like we got the votes today and we're going to do it. Right. If you want Dover to operate well, uh, I think it's better that both parties uh, have a fair uh, balance. Fair balance. The House needs to be con <clears throat> excuse me. The House needs to be controlled by one party and the Senate by the other, and then you definitely have to work together. When you've got one party control, you know, you got what you've got right now. Right. And I'm not saying anything negative about the, the opposite party. I'm just saying that. Right, no matter what party it is. What party it is, it has right. nothing to do it's, with the party. It's out of balance. It's, it's out of balance. Right. And, you know, when you get a set of scales out of balance, you soon find out that all the weight's on the wrong side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> or if a tire's out of balance, it rides down the road a little wobbly. That's it. And wears out prematurely. Prematurely. You wow. Got it. <laughs> All right. So anyway, how would somebody learn about you? Um, you're on Facebook, is I'm that on right? Facebook, and then uh, you can visit. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna you want a cup of water? No, I'm good. Okay. Thank you. But uh, when you uh, you can look at uh, uh, Dave Wilson de18 dot com, uh, or you can call my office at 302-422-34. My cell number is 302-270-8707. Oh, slow say, down. It's not an auction here. Why? 302-270-8707. 8707. And what was the other one? 302-422? 3454. 3454. And people right. say to me, why do you give out your cell number? I was elected to serve the public, and if I don't want my cell number out, I shouldn't be available 24-7. Right. But every time I see you, you could be anywhere at a store, out in public. <laughs> 
you are always talking to people. In other words, who initiates these conversations, you or them? Well, most of the time it's a constituent or someone in business, uh, being in business. They know me. They come up and ask me a question, and I always try to make time. If I'm not got a gavel in my hand, I try to make time to discuss it with them. You're so approachable. If I can't discuss it with you at that time, give me your name and number, and I promise you I'll call you back. Another thing I've noticed, you volunteer your time to many fundraiser auctions. You know, 20, 30 a year? Yeah, we do. I think last year was around 37, 38 total. Right. You know, but uh, I'm doing another one today for a political event up in uh, Newcastle County. Okay. But it's uh, uh, it's about being out. You know, I, I tell people I don't campaign campaign uh, season from September to November. Right. I campaign 24 hours a day when I'm out. But you live it. I mean, you're very accessible, very available. <laughs> I mean, you could find Dave Wilson, what, 7 o'clock in the morning, unlocking the gates at your, at your place. I, I mean, I start every morning at 5.30 and usually get done about 11. Uh, unfortunately, a great event last night. I was so pleased with the way everything went. But uh, my wife went home to find out we'd been burglarized. Someone broke no in our home. No so, way. Uh, as, as good as the event was, uh, I was still up till 2.30 this morning with state police investigating. Really? So, you know, uh, I just, Sorry to hear I, I've got to say that uh, until we get tough on crime, crime's going to get tough on us. And we've got to get back in uh, the, until it happens to our judicial system, to our judges and our attorney general. It's like it's always the other person. It happened to hit home this time. It doesn't make any difference how many laws we make in Dover if we don't enforce them. And last night, <clears throat> excuse me, when I got home, my wife, I was sitting there saying, well, they'd been in, got her jewelry. All of her pillowcases was going off the bed. So they just packed the sacks and leave. But we have to worry about a gymnasium for them in these prisons. We have to worry about a, a nice beauty rest mattress. They need to be laying on cement floors with no pillows, and they don't need a pillow match, uh, right. uh, cover. But uh, I'm it's so just, sorry. That's just an it's, awful it's, way to end a day. We ended for an event that turned out to be so great and, and so... Uh, just the support of the general the public, the people that couldn't even vote for me was there. But uh, to see that this happens to us uh, only in Delaware, that's all I can say. Yeah. We've got to get tough on crime. I don't care who the attorney general is. I'm not even going to mention her name. But when, when we take and investigate these scenes, and it's not about our state police. Our state police put the uniform on. Every day. A, a black officer came last night did the fingerprinting he said they're good they wore gloves they're out there doing it day in and day out and we are not we're making it too easy for crime when you tell people that we are looking for people to go to work no we need people to work and we've got them in prison and we've made it too comfortable for them because they don't need to be in prison they need to be at Gerald Hopper's supermarket with a job give them job training teach them a trade and put them back to work Take them out and quit feeding them and being sure they get three meals. They don't need three meals. If they've got time to break in my house somewhere between 6 or 540 and 930 last night, then they don't need to be have a, a nice place to lay their head at nighttime. Right. I'm sorry about yeah. that. That's a bummer. Well, anyway, today is today. Yep. Today is today. today. Yep. And Delaware is. It's, it's a, what they call it, a sanctuary state for for that and now you know we're very welcoming to criminals in other words and we don't mean to be it's just no. that we're soft on crime in soft other words it's a, you know and uh, the police are exiting by the week they're just retiring they want out they they just feel hopeless they spend they risk their lives to arrest somebody and then somebody just sits behind a, a pad and a pen and lets them go you're, you know, you're, just, you're right on target and we've you know, we've got to stick with our state police the guys in blue i respect them i said i do too you know if they be at my house last night for two and a half hours, you know, he would have been, if he hadn't been there, he'd have been somewhere else. But taxpayers are paying them to do a job that we take and put them in prison and turn them out. Yeah. And when you hear our, our our judicial system say, well, we're still going through COVID, and if, they, if they're doing theft, we get theft basically every week, some type at the auction. And when that happens, when you, when you hear them say, well, 
you know, we're still going through COVID. Chances are the people that did it needed it worse than you do. I don't know how they can make that decision when they don't even know the circumstances. Right, and the people saying that should leave their houses unlocked and put a sign out front. That's right. Free yeah. yard sale. Free yard sale. Help yourself. Yeah, yeah. you go first. Yeah. If you're going to talk and think like that, you go first. You go first. Right. All right, can we talk about Wilson's auction? Oh, sure, sure. I saw you've got some big stuff coming up. In other words, um, you've got a Memorial Day. Is it Mo Labor Day? Labor Day. Memorial Day's over, huh? Yeah. You that were, was a good one, you, though. That's right. You were there Memorial that Day. Was, that was when you celebrated your 50th, 50th anniversary. Well, it was fi actually 51st, but it was 50th. Yep. So anyway, Labor Day, big auction. Absolutely. Many tags. Yes. Yep, I don't know if I've ever nice seen collection. that many, to be honest with well, you, but there's a lot have, of them. We've had more, but uh, we've got some good ones in this sale. I would agree. And uh, what else did I see? Um, just lots of antiques, lots of different things. But that's not till Labor Day. Labor but Day. we're going to do it on a Monday, and you can preview it on a Sunday. Sunday. Is that that's right? right? We'll be open okay. from 11 to 4 on Sunday for uh, preview. Free pre and that's in the Red Building. In the Red Building. Now, I saw this one. I actually went out and looked at this property, okay. in other words. So that's coming up August 27th. That's a Saturday at 10 in the morning. That's correct. And uh, what is it, 70-some acres of land? 71 acres of land. We're going to sell the contents and a little small lot of farm equipment, the contents of the house, and in 12 noon, we sell the real estate. Wow. So that's outside of Greenwood. That'd be a good investment for somebody. Absolutely. Uh, uh, the only one great I can think that it would really be a great investment for would be Jim Weller. Jim Weller. I've sold him property before, and he's you always know, done well. You ha I have. <laughs> You've sold me a handful of properties. I have. You know that? Over the years, I have. Yeah. You've been a great customer. I've tried. I've tried. If I don't always buy, I at least try to bid. That's right. <laughs> now, what was the next thing I was going to talk about? Today, there's an auction. That's correct. Now, this is on Route 113 in Lincoln. Yeah. And you've been there over 40 years on that property, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, we moved out there in 75. Wow. And so it starts at 10 o'clock. People can go there now and browse around. Absolutely. They were there, people there when I left. Okay. So anyway, Saturday, it starts at 10. Now it goes at 8, 9 o'clock at night? Uh, yeah, we'll probably get done night about 9.30. Okay. The time there's, trucks load out and get out, it's usually 11. But there's there's like furniture, like if you're just moving in a house or you need some furniture um, appliances. or appliances. And then there's jewelry and there's glassware and coins and toys and tools and I've even seen exercise equipment. That's right. That's right. So a little bit. What is it? Thousands of things get sold on a Saturday? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, would say, I, don't, I wouldn't want to misrepresent it, but I would say probably uh, 22 to 2,500 every week. Every week. Yeah. And Some two, weeks more than that. Two or three different auctioneers throughout the uh, day. We run three, three auctioneers right now. Uh, and when we do the equipment sale, we run five. But uh, for Saturday sales, usually three. Okay. All right, and uh, you kind of pride yourself on no buyer's premium. That's correct. You know, in other words, uh, people say, "Well, when are you going to start with the buyer's premium?" I'll never say never. Right. I may have right. to at some time with the competition, but I don't intend to. Right. I always uh, feel that it's fair and square for the uh, the buyer to uh, buy with confidence, and the seller knows it going into it that he's going to pay for your service, and uh, you pay you get what you pay for. So if you want a deluxe program, we'll put it together for you. If you just want to get the bare minimum, we can work that out for you too. Right. Now you literally, if somebody said, I've got a house full of stuff, I want to sell it, uh, somebody's passed away or we're moving and we just want to be done with it, you could sell the contents and the house. That's exactly what you're doing there on the 27th. And we're doing that one on site. Uh, a lot of them, we go just uh, partial house lots. We move them to our facility, and, and sell them, them inside if it's rain, snow or whatever. Uh, but over the years, uh, there's nothing I enjoy more than a good public auction. Right. But uh, with antique market uh, declining some from what it was, uh, I can honestly say that probably about 80% of them we move, 80, 85% so we move. But if we're going to be there selling the real estate, it may be approachable for us to just do it all one right. time. Right, do it all. We're not looking for more work, but we'd like to, to uh, minimize. Like, minimize it while we're right, right okay. there. Yep. So if somebody wants to sell something, they give you a call. If they want to list a tag for Labor Day, there's still time to do that probably? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, the, the real issue is that when you call, uh, depending on, tell them what your, your interest is. Right. Wade, customer service rep, Wade Wilson does an outstanding job. He does. He's uh, very approachable. He's very considerate about your time. Uh, if he you name six items off, he'll say, can you send me pictures? If it's a house lot, he's definitely going out and look at it right. and make a decision.
decision. He'll come back with me usually and say, Dave, I just looked at this lot yesterday. Looks like a pretty good sale. I'd like for you to go with me. We're going back again in two Look days, three days. And uh, uh, he doesn't usually uh, make decisions uh, hastily. He likes to be sure that uh, uh, he, I, I honestly say that I also believe that he represents the customer sometimes almost better than he does me. Well, he won't <laughs> oversell himself. That's, that's right. He doesn't. He, he doesn't fluff you up. He looks at what you got. He gives you a realistic thing. If things bring more than he said, hallelujah. Yeah. But he doesn't like anybody to be disappointed. He'll tell you when you go look at a house of furniture, I'm selling furniture. Brown is down, he'll sell them. And, but if you still want us to move it and sell right. it, we're going to do it. And we do it. But uh, uh, he's very upfront and honest with our customers. Denise, did you hear that? Brown is down in price. <laughs> our house is full of what color merchandise? <laughs> Brown. <laughs> yeah, but you Denise can, likes antiques. That's why she kept me. You can go get paint and That's paint true. it. That's true. And it, then it looks distressed. Fifty years ago, when I went in business, everything was painted and they stripped it. Now, right. now they want to change it back right. the other way. That's right. That's right. It is just the opposite. All right, Dave Wilson, uh, 302-422-3454 is the auction. If you want to sell something, what do you drop it off Wednesday through Friday? Wednesday through Friday is the best Let's day. touch on the car auction real quick. Tuesday nights at 6. Tuesday nights, 6 o'clock, we sell automobiles. It's open to dealers. You sell public. like 50, 80? I mean, uh, we usually run a little over 100, 100, 100, okay. 100 to 130. Okay. Uh, back in the day, we were selling closer to 250. Wow. But, okay. Uh, but like if somebody needs a car, you know, and they just want to get one quick and want to get it affordable, right, buy right. it at auction. You've got a car that uh, you no longer have any need for, we sell, sell it. Bring it to the auction. Yeah. Now, do you always pay with cash? We don't always pay with okay. cash. We, a lot of our business is cash, but we don't always pay with cash or none of our states. Uh, but if you sell a lot for $85, we're not going to write you a check for right, $85. Right. But if you've got a check that's... 500,000, 2,000, 10,000, 30,000, you're going to get yeah, a check. Right, right. I got you. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go. Is that okay? okay? I want to give you two of these. Uh, these are collector's keychains. First of all, they got my picture on them. So oh you my. won't forget me, okay? I'll never and forget Jim And Weller. they're the Weller Does the Marvel ones, okay? Do you happen to want any gift cards to Vanderwins? Well, you know, I, I frequent Vanderwins okay. often. But uh, to be honest with you, I'd rather you give them out to some of your other advertisers because okay. I'm, I'm going to visit Vanderbilt's anyhow, and, okay. and they've always been a good friend. All right. Anything else I need to know? Not that I know of, Jim. I just appreciate you, uh, what you do for us. You do an outstanding job promoting Wilson's auction, but uh, it's it's not just that. It's about a relationship yeah. that we have with uh, the Weller family. Well, thank you so, very much. You're swallow with Weller. I'm trying. <laughs> thank you. Thank That's you. A good have a good right. day. See you, Dave. Uh, Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Dave Wilson, everybody. Wilson's Auction Online. Look him up on Facebook. There's a good man. So there's an example of a sponsor segment. That's uh, Dave Wilson, my state senator, and my friend, and Wilson's Auction. So that was a little bit of everything. Donald, that sound okay? Good job. All right. So what else is next? Um, we've talked about these auctions. I am probably going to buy that 70 acres. I've been thinking about it, and I'm going to make Denise have a big garden. 70 acres worth. <laughs> you worried about them dogs out there rolling in the compost? Oh, my gosh. All right, Colin the second. I got a news flash. Anyway, what's going on? That was Dave Wilson. That was pretty good. We had a lot of fun. So sad to hear his house got broke into last night, you know? My goodness, it's almost like no good deed goes unpunished, you know? It's sad, 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 sad. So, um, oh, there is a crab feast coming up. I got to mention it. This one here is the Coastal Coon Hunters. The Coastal Coon Hunters, okay? So anyway, it's their annual crab feast, August 27th from 1 to 4. I may buy 10 tickets to take 10 friends. I don't know. It's all you can eat, chicken and corn. It's only $30 a person. So if you want tickets to this, call Rick. Rick's number is 302 423 Five six two nine. Write it down right now. It's 302-423-5629. Rick, if you want to get tickets to the Coastal Coon Hunters Annual Crab Feast for October 27th. Now, Weller's is open. They tell me we are already busy, and yes, we are. Um, I just want to ask if you're watching on Facebook and you could comment. I'd like to know how we're doing where are you? You know, so I, I don't get to see it right now. I'll see it later. But how you liking the show? Where are you watching the show from? Not your living room or the kitchen, but like 
where in the United States? Hey, I hear the music. We're taking a break from the radio. Radio audience, switch over to TV Delmarva right now. All right, here he comes again, everybody. Colin Walls. Yes. It's you been have a put busy her to sleep, morning. Jim. I've lulled her to sleep. Yep. Oh, my gosh. So this is her spot right here where she sleeps. Is that right? <laughs> there yep. you go. She's sleeping. Yep. Sleeping beauty. All right. What is up, Colin? Well, Wall Service Center, Jim. Wall Service Center is busy. We are uh, growing. and You're hiring people? Yeah, we've hired uh, two people in the two last people. couple of weeks. So, yeah. There you go. You're on a Very roll. excited. Yep. We got a yep. new tech in the shop. Uh, good experience. 15 years experience. That's what I hear. Um, Military and, uh, man? Uh, no? His wife yes. is. Wife is. Okay. Yes. yes. Military yep. woman. Yes. Anyway, so. he's structured is what I was trying to say. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we're excited to bring him on board. He starts Monday. So, Monday. Uh, yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be good. You're so, growing. I mean, yep. We're growing. And uh, we've got a new lady starting in the office. Yeah. Um, Jim recommended. So uh, she's beyond excited. <laughs> she's good. beyond excited. Well, we're beyond excited to have her. Yep. So um, I yeah. think she's going to be a good fit for you. Good. I believe so, so too. So uh, just uh, in. It's the waiting. You've interviewed a mess of people, and sometimes in the interview, you're just like, this is the this one. This is the one. Yep. And, and that's how we felt about her. So yep. I forgot uh, her name, but she's Jenny's neighbor. So <laughs> Ashley is her name. Ashley? Yes. yes. Okay. Ashley, yes. I forgot your name. I'm sorry, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> won't do it again, Ashley. We won't call you Jenny's neighbor. So. <laughs> right. She's Jenny's neighbor. You know what? She's going to be Kim's neighbor soon. Jenny Kim's and Kim are going to be there? Na- yep. Really? Yep. We're going we're gonna to buy lots of houses in Greenwood, and we're going to take a over little a little, compound, little there. compound. Wellerville. Nice. Wellerville. Nice. So anyway. That's good. Yep. I remember so, my dad always wanted to do that. When really? Said, yeah, everybody just lived there on a, their wow. own compound. So, well, yeah, I am just good. excited that all my grandkids are going to be neighbors. And they yeah. all get to use Jenny's pool. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, oh, so anyway, uh, yeah, Wall Service Center, if, if you need your car worked on, we can take care of it at Wall Service Center. Mm-hmm. We do everything but major engine work. Right. And not many people do that anymore anyway. Right. So, uh We've uh, we've gone beyond rebuilding engines and things yeah. like that, so it just doesn't. Well, and thing. you're busy. I mean, that's what a lot of people don't realize. You call businesses; they're busy. Nobody's not busy. Everybody's looking for work. Yeah. But we're all busy. In other words, and good people. That's what you want to do. You want to you want to deal with somebody good. Mm-hmm. You can tell they're good if they're busy. That's right. It. Yeah. Yep. You know. Yep. But well, so anyway, I, we've been around for uh, 64 years, Jim. Yeah. So you know that kind of. I like to say we've stood the test of time. We've pretty much seen everything, mm-hmm. um, and and we've weathered through it. So it's and not always been it, easy, but you know, right. it, some of you've seen it more than you wanted to, yeah, uh, more than yes. once. Yeah, yep. she's sleeping right along. Isn't she, she is. She sure is. Myra, correct? Yep. All right. I remembered her name. That's very hard for me. Yes, mommy is working this morning. So, okay. Uh, well, you're doing a good job over here. I am here. doing a good job. So, I have to say, um, your mom had a birthday thing I yesterday. Can, yes, she did. Yep. Danita. Yes. Okay. Yep. Happy birthday, to And Nina. she got flowers delivered to her. I Did saw you see that. that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that was... Uh, yeah. That and then was, she uh, went out to dinner. Good. Go ahead. She went out to dinner, I think. She did, yes. With Oscar. She went out to dinner with my stepdad, Oscar. <laughs> I got that right, too. Yep. At least she didn't go with Oliver. Oscar would have been mad. Well, you, you paused. <laughs> I was thinking, did I say the wrong name? I can re- I can hear your name in one minute and forget it in the next. Is that Justin Ward? How you doing? That is Justin, yep. Gosh, yep. I wish I had more time. I'd get him over here. But oh, man. I'm glad you're here anyway. So. Well, I'll donate I'm some like, of uh, the next person's time if you want. Oh, why don't you do that? On that. <laughs> I'm only this much behind <laughs> these right, two. Right, I see, yeah. So, and yep. then, uh, so anyway, we may, we may squeeze him in. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Okay, so anything else going on? Uh, Wall Service Center, yeah. I mean, I, if you want to schedule your vehicle for whether you need AC work or an oil change, uh, you know, if you're looking for a good value, we're going to give it to you. you know, the, good value for the money. Yeah, we talked about parts. Quality parts. AC Delco. Yep. Quality people. Quality people, good work. Using good tools. Yep. And we're going to give you this free roadside assistance, which is really, really a good value yes. uh, that you get. You get with, that uh, when you get an oil change. Yeah, so any service from yep. that on that up. up. So, yeah, right. so it's pretty much, you know, not a turn $39 and up you get. Right. For $39 and up, you get this roadside assistance. Exactly. I put a $100 value on it. I mean, in other words, I think if you had to go buy it, you would probably pay, pay close to that for Or that. more. I or would more. say or okay. more. Yeah, yeah. So, for the, for the but you give it for free. People are always questioning me like, I don't understand. It just is simple. It's a thing you got connected with AC Delco, and it was just part of your program. And the, the towing and, is fantastic. Like, yeah. People are loving it. And, you know, I, I've heard there are some other versions of this out there. 
but you got to pay for it up front. You got to oh, so, so if you get one, a tow call, if you need a tow, you've got to pay for it up front, and then they'll reimburse you. So I there's a little so. process to go through. Right. Not with this. I agree. Not with this. You don't I've spend used anything out of your pocket. So yeah, it's it's very good. Is Dan Gaffney back at the studio? I think he is. I just was checking. Yeah. Okay. So anything else? Um. What else? What else? No, I think that might be it. Okay. Well, good job. I mean, you got a good business. You got a good family. Thank this you. This is yep. his motivation. If you want to know right, his motivation, yes. um, it's right here. Yeah. You course. can see she's hungry, so we need yeah. work to keep her so fed. Keep her going. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, these cheeks are. What are you uh, doing today? You babysitting? Yes. Okay. Where, no, are, you, where are you guys I'm, going? I'm not babysitting. I'm just okay. being dad. Being dad. Okay. Yeah. So what are you doing today? Uh. So we're gonna go to Colin's house today. Okay. We're going to go see Mommy for lunch. Okay. She's going to have lunch, so it's going to be Myra's lunch and Mommy's lunch. Okay. Um, and then uh, we're going to oh. go to Colin's house. Jonathan's moving his camper from my house to Colin's house. so Because he's going to be glamping. Yes. Is that right? Yep, so he's going to be parking it there at Colin's house now instead of mine. I'm selling my house. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, we want to get it out of the driveway. Have so. you had anybody look at it? No, it's not actually on the okay, market yet. Okay. It's still kind of coming soon. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's uh, we get that, and then I want to. I got to get one of those pod things in there. Oh. Yeah. So we yes. can load it up. Be there when they drop it off, so your concrete doesn't look different when they pick it up. <laughs> well, I won't Just, know until we move it. Right, but yeah. it's the dropping off that makes the difference. <laughs> right. So um, I would be there if possible. Yeah. But anyway, are we prepping for the radio? All right. I'll see you, Jim. All right, I'll see you. Take care. Thanks. All right. All right. Um, I want to hold on, Denise. Just one second. I want to say hi to Justin Ward on air real quick. Justin Ward, if you can get him over here, okay? Justin Ward. Who's Justin Ward? Invisible Fence Brand. Remember, he used to do that and take such good care of us? This is just a real quick minute, okay? Don't panic or anything. He's He's got a whole new venture going on. So let's take a picture real quick. There we go. Justin, how you doing? Good. Good how morning. You been? Good. Good Just to see you. Real quick, in less than a minute, tell us what's Justin Ward doing nowadays. Yeah, so we moved on from the Invisible Fence World, and uh, we are on to Ward Business Group Ward LLC. Ward Business Group. So yeah. Ward Business Group LLC uh, focuses on a lot of stuff that I grew up in: the farming world, uh, welding, land, fixing welding, things. landscaping, excavating yeah. world. So. Uh, we started in 2018 with it, and it's really grown, and uh, that's what I'm doing in Delaware today, networking wow. and stuff like that, and um, we're up to like 17 employees now already. So, Excellent. Uh, that's yep. a big step up from Invisible Fence World. So. so if somebody was looking to talk to Justin, what number are you giving out? Uh, it's uh, my cell phone, because okay. we're, we're just trying to make sure we're connecting and uh, right. building that relationship, so uh, 410-984-4020. Nine eight four four zero two zero forty twenty. So I appreciate okay. seeing you. And All right, I'm going to give you a keychain, <laughs> and I'm going to give you a couple Vanderwins. How's that? Yep, I appreciate it. I talk to you longer, but I don't have time. That's all right. Okay, see Thank you, my you. friend. Yep. Take care. Have a good weekend. Justin Ward, known him for years. Good guy. Give him a call if you need something done, and he'll tell you whether he can do it or not. Vanderwins ice cream. You hear me give out their gift cards all the time. I love them. So if you need ice cream, go to Vanderwins. You can get a cup, a cone, a pint, or a cup. Cup, cone, pint, or quart is what I meant to say. This is a sponsor of the show. Thank you to the Vanderwin family. We appreciate your support. And if time allows, we'll give away some gift cards. But I don't know. Ella McGee is making her way down. This lady is so intelligent. It's unbelievable. She told me that no, I'm just messing with her. I'm trying to make her nervous. No, I don't want her to be nervous. I want her to really enjoy this interview and say wow that was pretty good jim weller so ellen mcgee i've known her for a few years now and um, you are the current register of wills is that correct yes. and you want to continue to stay in that position yes. all right is her mic on everybody let's turn her <laughs> mic on all right so <laughs> ellen mcgee current register of wills and uh running again is that right running running for the first time for I was the first appointed. time that's right you were appointed okay mm -hmm. So how's it been being Register of Wills? It's, we have a good group. We're open. We've kept fees. You know, we've not raised any fees. Okay. So the uh, safe environment for right. our employees and the citizens of How many Sussex people County? work there? Seven. Seven people work mm -hmm. at the Register of Wills. Wow. Yeah. That's down in Georgetown. And, yep. And it's in a state building. In a state building. A state building. A state, state of Delaware building. building. Okay. And that's why we have 
oh, uh, security guards. And, in oh, the front yeah. Because there's a JP court that in that makes building sense. also. Yeah. What, has people wondered why you have security? They do. I didn't know that. <laughs> hey, can you pose for a picture just oh, for sure. a second? Thank you. Thanks. All right. So, so I never thought of that. I, I guess that makes sense, though. In other words, it's kind of what it's it needs what to be. It's not what we implemented. Correct. Right. Right. Yeah. right. Wow. All right. So what does the Register of Wills do? Like, is this a, uh, are you open every day? We are open every day. Okay. Um, 830 this to is 4. Very helpful. Yes. You gave me one of those. I was impressed yes. with that. We hand these out. Anybody can ask for one or call the office or call me. Uh, it's a wills and estates, a guide for what you need to know. We right. just updated it. Um, we've updated our online forms so that okay. all three counties are the same. Oh, really? So um, we okay. have a excellent staff. You know, we know I've lost loved ones. I'm sure you have, too. Yep. It's a hard time to it deal is. with that. And then on top of that, there are estates or making sure you're doing everything correctly right so it's uh we you, have you a lot of compassion people. you know try to help people through it because we know how hard it is right right it's a very <clears throat> tough time so it is. what what do people do so uh, a loved one passes away then they contact the register of wills is that yeah, correct they will file the death certificate okay. and then yes they will if, and you if usually, a person has a will or they don't um the death certificate usually comes from the funeral director? Yes. Okay. Stated, yes, from the okay. doctor. All right. And so, and then they, if they have a will, they bring it with them? Yeah. Original. Okay. We An have to have the original. They, okay. Okay. And is this where you call to make an appointment? Is yes. that best? Yeah. Okay. And even if you don't have to probate, we ask that you call, like if you need forms or you need, um, if you need somebody's paperwork or will from long ago and we ask that you call ahead and okay. make um, an appointment and then that allows us to go ahead and get the stuff together okay you come in and pick it up you're not waiting around. wasting your time on okay. us get, get does this everything. cost money they do have to pay for copies yes. okay all right well but no yeah. legal fees you're not charging no. hundreds of dollars and no. so you're giving a lot of good advice and guidance but nobody's having to pay any big, large fees for that. Correct. We're just charging for copies. And we, have, we can't give legal advice. You can't? No, but we okay. can tell you what we... What the what, laws and the rules are. Correct. Okay. So what do you want people to know about you? Well, I am the Register of Wills. I, am, uh, I do have a primary, September 13th. I'm asking okay. for the Republican vote, vote okay. and um, help. And uh, if they want signs, uh, we'll get them to them. They you got signs me. ready to go? Yep. So We've somebody could get an Ellen McGee sign right now if they yep. wanted to? Yep. Okay. So, could people donate? Do you take donations? We or? do take donations, okay. and we are, yes. Does this stuff cost money? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I just it's wondered. A lot of, a lot of people never want to talk about the donations. Yeah, we need donations. I it's just that, wondered. I'm the business It's definitely uh, expensive to do okay, this. Okay, to run. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So are you available? Like, meaning if somebody had questions, do they call they, you? Do they go I, to your Facebook page? I get page? calls all the time. Um, I do have a Facebook page. It's Ellen McGee for Register of Wills. Okay. And I do have a cell phone number. Okay. It's 302-462-5310. Yep. It's right oh, here. Oh, it's right there. Oh, you put yeah. it right on your brochure. Wow. Yeah. 462-5310. <clears throat> Ellen yep. McGee. Where are you from? I am from Williamsville near Selbyville. I went to the wrong Williamsville <laughs> to look for your farm. I'm like, where is Ellen McGee's farm at Williamsville? Yeah. You're in the Williamsville where? Near, that? near Selbyville. Near Selbyville. Selbyville and Fenwick Island. Okay. On House Road. Okay. All right. And you're yes. a farmer. I'm a, I am a farmer. What do you yeah. farm? Corn, soybeans, uh, sorghum, strawberries. I'm the one that made uh, went to the legislature to get the strawberry, the Delaware State fruit. Really? Yeah. Went through well, all that process. Well, thank you for that. So that's the Delaware State fruit. Yeah. Eat, eat more strawberries. That's right. And All we right. do pumpkins and we All just right. grow a lot of tomatoes. We're picking a lot of tomatoes now. Okay. Wow. There's nothing like. Are you hands on? Like, are you a farm girl? 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. Can you drive a tractor? I can drive a tractor. The only thing I won't drive is the combine or the sprayer. That combine but is I intimidating. Can, yeah, it is. So huge. I mean. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm not. Okay. You're awful high up there. That's true, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm afraid and I'd it's run so into wide. Something. I mean, boy, you could do some damage real quick. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't there a telephone yeah. pole there a minute ago? <laughs> or a mailbox. <laughs> or a mailbox. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah, right. Yeah, they don't, I'm, I don't do that. But All right. I do enjoy it, and I have lived here my whole life. Okay. And I think it's the best place in the world that we could live Big. in Sussex Everybody. County. So you just want to keep mm -hmm. right on being the Register of Wills. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Ellen, I'm so, going to let you go unless you had something else. I mean, No, I could use all the help. Okay. So I you're looking get. for helpers, uh, people that might want to put out signs, somebody wants to donate, you yeah. know, um, advice, opinions, a, input. We have an excellent staff. Um, they're doing a wonderful job. So you just want to keep, keep being their boss. Keep, keep moving forward. Do they get along with you? Yeah. All yeah, right. they get along. So that's who we should be interviewing. <laughs> yeah. Is Ellen's staff. No, yeah. I, I know you do a good job. I hear a lot of good things. So good well, job. Thank you so. very much. I appreciate it. Okay. I'm going to give you a keepsake uh -oh. to remember me. Okay. A Weller does Delmarva oh, keychain. Wow, thank you. And I don't know if you like ice cream or not, but we have gift cards to Vanderwitz. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Yeah. All right. I hear their ice cream is very good. It is. And if you don't want ice cream, you can trade that in and pay a little bit more and get a milkshake. Yeah. The chocolate milkshakes are, yeah. are really good. Over They're amazing. There, I heard. Yep. And white cows make chocolate milkshakes. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> no, yeah. I don't know what color their cows are. Oh, All right. Dear. Are we done? We are. I'll see you later. Thank you I'm very much. I'm going to leave you a LMG Okay. Pen. There we go. Thank and you. You've got the brochure. Yep. Thank you very much. All right. I'll see you sometime. You. Bye yeah, bye. We'll be bye. around. Okay. All right. Next, I want to talk about Jerry's Lawn Care. But if you're in the room and you have not entered to win the $25 gift card to Wawa, this is your last chance. Okay. We need to get Guada next, if we could, please. Guada, Guada, Guada. We're ready for you. So, in the meantime, I'm going to talk to talk about. Jerry's Lawn Care. Jerry's Lawn Care. Uh, this is Jerry Santoro, a good sponsor of the show. So anyway, I just want to let you know, Jerry's Lawn Care will do your lawn. He does my lawn at Bridgeville. He's fantastic. He does tree work, also trimming trees, cutting down trees, cutting up trees, digging up stumps, grinding up stumps, whatever you need done. Um, he also does irrigation systems. He also does pavers. He does all kinds of stuff. So if you need anything done around your business or your lawn or whatever, and you're not sure if Jerry does do it or will do it, you give Jerry a call. Call Jerry. His phone number is 302-363-6025. I'd like at least one person to call Jerry right this minute. 302 363 6025 and just say jerry just heard about you on jim weller's show and i would like to get something done or just thank him for supporting and sponsoring the show jlc-llc.com on the web now this young lady helps us out every week her name is guada guadalupe is her real name is that right exactly. all right and she works the room and she gets people to fill out a little slip that we are going to do a drawing to somebody's going to win a $25 gift card to Wawa. First, we're going to take a picture because we need to do this each and every week. Smile pretty. Thank you very much. People say, what's it with the pictures? Well, just wait till your birthday comes around. In other words. <laughs> and we use these pictures on Facebook for all kinds of things, in other words. And um, if there's somebody that's wanted out there and somebody says, Jim, do you have a picture of Linda Bosco? I just happen to have a hundred of them things. So anyway, um, so how are we doing today, Guada? Very, very good. Okay. You went with us last night to yes, the event? thank you so much. We Did enjoyed you? it so much. Were yeah. we good? Did we behave well? Oh, very much so. How about Denise? Did she do good? Uh, <laughs> so it was a good event. Lots of people. Four hundred and some people. I know. I was people. so impressed. I agree. I was and, agree. Uh, Mr. Wilson, we were just talking to him. Yep, he's like, a pretty good guy, isn't he? I, I like him a lot. Yep, we're good. He's a legend. Like he's you. a legend. Well, yep. I just guess like both you. of us. All right. Yeah. All right. You ready for the winner? All right. Who's the winner this week? Is it going to be Brad? <laughs> Is it going to be Pat or Snooky or Leah? Leah? Who's it going to be? Who wants to be the winner? Oh, it's Debbie. Debbie. Debbie's already standing. All right, Miss Debbie 
Short is not the winner. Who is Janet Thomas? Janet <laughs> Thomas. Oh, is that Janet? I can't see for the glare out the window. All right, come on over here, Janet. Go ahead. Janet, bring your purse. There's a $25 entry fee. Come that way, and we're going to get her. Thank you, Guada. This is Janet Thomas, everybody. She's always wanted to be on the radio and on TV and on Facebook. Oh, this is like, she's like, I would rather give you a $50 gift card to not win a $25. Come on down here, young lady. We have a very small audience. We're only talking to a few thousand people, okay? I don't know. So smile first. Oh, you got to hold this up. Hold it up and look excited. All right. Now, Janice, you're here for breakfast? Yes. Have you ever been here before? Yes. All right. What do you like here? French toast. Oh, isn't it nice? Also come for dinner and had okay. crab cakes. Crab cakes, sorry. Yeah. Do you get one or two? Two. Two. They're pretty good, aren't they? Yeah, they're good. All right, I'm just checking. <laughs> now, Wednesdays, they're even better because okay, okay. they're only $20 All right. for two. All right. all right. Did you think you were going to win when you woke up this morning? No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> are you okay being on? I don't want to embarrass you or anything. No, okay. Where are you from? Um, we live in Lewis right now. Really? I'm originally from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, okay. But mostly That's a good town. lived in Maryland. Really? Yeah. Well, well, welcome to Delaware. Thank you. Do you enjoy the tax freeness of Delaware? Oh, yes. It's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to give you a keychain. Is that your husband over there? Yes, it is. Is he a good driver? Yes, he's good. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you both a keychain. <laughs> oh, all right. And Thank do you. you have you ever been to Vanderwind's ice cream? No, I haven't. Can he I probably can does. I give you a couple gift cards? Oh, that'd be wonderful. Okay. I don't want to offend you. So here's two gift cards to Vanderwind's, okay? okay? All right. Thank All right. You. Anything else? Did you have anything you want to say? No, Any? I'm good. Okay. So you're going to Disney World after this. Great. All right. All right. I'll see you. Thank you very Thank much, you. Janet. All right, it's just like that, folks. People in here are winners. It, we've gave away all kinds of things. We're ready for Kevin Short. Kevin Short, oh, he's out of time. He can't make it today. Kevin Short was going to come, but nope. Oh, he's coming, buddy. Kevin is coming down. Oh, my numbers. Oh, my numbers. Okay. Now, we got a couple things that me and Kevin Short are going to do together, okay? So, and win that gift certificate. And just Hold stay on. up here. Can you so. please take a picture with me? Sure. Today, just for the there heck of it. Hey, now. All right. All thank right. you. All right. What were you going to do earlier? I was going to win the gifts. I had it all planned. I was going to win the gift certificate. Okay. And then just stay here and do this last segment. Oh. oh. But you didn't pick my Janet name. Janet got in the way. <laughs> yeah. You didn't pick my name. Right. So. So that didn't work. That didn't work. All right. So uh, a couple things I want your help with here today. All right. So one is how are you? I'm doing okay. You doing okay? Yeah. Good. I got have Kevin on the show. Okay. Okay, that's my note. <laughs> there you go. All right, I'm so, all done. So I've been had. Yep. Yes. So Thank that's you. that. I think I'm done. What else is going on? So Weller's is open today, and um, we gave away some things. So why don't we take some phone calls? Can we do that? Kevin? Sure. That was a question for Kevin. Oh, I thought okay. you were talking no. about a technical question. Okay, no, Yes, no. absolutely. All right, so... Today is a big day for one of our friends. So yes. do you want to announce it or I? This, can I preference who it is? Sure. Okay, he's a very intelligent man. Would you agree with that? He is. So he's a man and he's very intelligent. Very tall. Very tall. Mm -hmm. um, his wife would consider him handsome. Okay. Yeah. Dashing, debonair. I'm sure she does. I'm not saying that. I presume she does. Yeah. Um, he handles a lot of money. Would that be a way to describe him? He does. He handles some of yours. He does. Yes. He handles some of mine. Uh-huh. Okay, so he must be somewhat trustworthy. Yes, I'd say so. Okay, he's a famous pickleball player. Yes, yes, he is. Even though he's tall, he plays pickleball. Uh huh. Okay. And a okay. tennis player. And a tennis player. Yeah. Um, he's a grandparent. That's true. What else can you say about him? He's a Rotarian. He's a Rotarian. Yeah. He's a president. That's right. Um, yeah. yeah. He's a president. Um, is he a treasurer at a church, maybe? Uh, I'm probably, not sure. yeah. Yeah, I, I would think. He's on the board anyway. He's so, on the board. Yeah. Um, do you believe he brushes his teeth regularly? I would. I, I, you know, I've never been that close to tell. Well, that's you know? an FDIC rule. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so who are we talking about, Kevin? Jack Riddle. Jack Riddle. Who's it's having a birthday Jack today. Riddle's right? birthday. And if there's anybody out there that would like to get Jack a gift, 
what Kevin and I have agreed to allow Just people send it to, to do. Us first. And let it be food, and yeah. we'll taste it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> send it to us first. So I want to give away a couple things. So can what time is it? Do is I have today time? the birthday? Today, to the best of my knowledge, is Jack Riddle's birthday. So are we singing happy birthday to Jack? Can you do it for sure. me? Sure. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Jack Riddle. Happy birthday. <laughs> Jack, Jack Riddle. Riddle. Happy birthday to you. Happy there you go. Happy birthday to you. There we go. Right. It's Jack Riddle's birthday, all right? And um, that's where we're at. So enough on Jack Riddle. Okay. I also would like to thank somebody, another good friend of ours, who is working extra hard today. Okay? Yes, Colin is one of them. Colin is one of them. And the other thing is Dan Gaffney. You know of this Dan Gaffney? I, is Dan at the, at the uh, station at today? At the helm. Really? He's at the helm. Wow. In other words, people have said, Jim, your show sounds like it's now in stereo and HD, <laughs> HD radio. So I don't know what Dan's done different this week. And I've articulated most of my words correctly. So it's been pretty cool. So, Dan, if you're back there, thank you for all that you're doing. And uh, please let the show go over just a little bit. All right, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> Hold the so news. Jack Riddle's birthday. Dan Gaffney's working the controls. Lawrence is off for the day. Lawrence is usually the one back there on right. Saturdays. So what else? Five minutes. I want to take as many phone calls as we can in five minutes. Is that okay? We're going to spin the prize wheel. And if, if you win, you're going to win a $25 gift card to Wawa. Call right now. 422 7 Three three six four two two seven three three six. Here's the prize wheel. Call now. Can you make the camera show the prize wheel, possibly, or I'll bring it over. That more. was kind Hold of a on. dud spin. It was a dud spin. There you go. It went around right. at least once. Anybody yeah. want to win a twenty-five dollar Wawa gift card? Call right now, and we're gonna guess. We're gonna let you be part of the prize wheel contest. Okay. So twenty-five dollar Wawa gift card. Four two two. 7336. And there you, you go. You pick a number. All right, caller, what number would you like to guess? Number 10. Now, here's the contest. What's your name? Sharon. This thing has got to land on any number but 10, okay? Oh, okay. That's, that's a good thing. All right. So, we're going to spin the wheel, but if it lands on 10, you don't win, okay? Okay. It's got to land on any number but 10. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go for it. Say, ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Any number but 10. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ten. You will not <laughs> believe this. It landed on number 10. She had the entire <laughs> wheel to win. <laughs> How does these things happen? What is what is your name? Now, what was that pedal you were stepping on? I don't know. What's what your name? <laughs> Sharon. Sharon. And is that what people call you, Sharon? Yes, it is. I'm going to give you two Vanderwin gift cards anyway, and you got to pick them up at Weller's next week, Tuesday through Saturday, all right? Okay, that'll be good. Are you watching on TV? Can you see that it landed on number 10? Yes. What's the chance of that? I called in for the break and picked a 10 and it didn't land on it. I don't even know what to say. I went I to don't a, either. I went I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> hey, listen to this, Sharon. I went to a crab feast last night and they asked me to draw some of the winning tickets for some popcorn. Yeah. Guess who's guess whose ticket I pulled? Yours. I can't believe it. No, that's that's <laughs> unbelievable. A, it's unbelievable. <laughs> All right, well, I'm we're going to... I'm watching on Tuesday. All right, and it really did happen, okay? It's you know, not rigged. The irony okay, of this I, is she picked 10, thinking you were okay. going to say if she hit 10, she I would win. It. I messed her and up. And then she hit 10, and because she, you changed the rules, well, I never said lost. the rules. That's right. She presumed them. That's right. Sharon, are we That's okay? There's no hard feelings, right? <laughs> well, she still won. No, no hard feelings. All right. Thank you very much, okay? Bye-bye. Okay? Okay, thank you. All right. We got Bye. time for one more phone call. 302... What's the number? 302-422-7336. 422-7336. You're going to guess a number, and as long as that's not the number the prize wheel lands on, you're a winner. i got to have a winner here. That's amazing. The odds of that happening are pretty I'm, amazing. I'm scared to drive my truck right now. <laughs> All right, caller, what's your name? 
I am Charlie Jim. Good morning. Is this the milkman? No, Charlie. No, Charlie from Milford. Oh, how you doing, Charlie? Well, guess a number real okay, quick. Okay. Guess. I want to guess eight. Eight. Here we go. It can't land on eight. Oh. Tim. <laughs> Tim again. <laughs> Charlie, you want a twenty-five dollar gift card to Wawa? Oh, okay. Thanks, Jim. You got to pick it up at Weller's in Bridgeville next week, Tuesday through Saturday, okay? Okay, will do. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Do you want to try one more? Ten's a bad number. He, he guessed eight, though. Right. He guessed but eight. You, you, you came up on ten again on the wheel. Oh, I, yeah, oh, I yeah, know that, yeah, right. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. this pedal on the floor. Yeah. No, there is no pedal. I'll put my feet on the table if I have to. <laughs> Kevin, we're out of time. I'd like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd wait around. I'd buy the extra 10 minutes. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for watching the show. It's been a lot of fun. Kevin, thank you for your help. Thank um, you. And uh, have a good weekend, all right? Now, we're still on TV Delmarva. Okay. Is there anything you would like to say about TV Delmarva? I want you to spin that wheel again and see a 10 not come up. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's one just... last time. Okay. Oh. There you go. Woo! Yeah. Number one. I thought it was broke. All right. We out of time. Yeah. How much time? Five, four. God bless you all, everybody. Thanks for watching TV Delmarva. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.